coding overloaded. Oh no, <laughs> you're recording very fast-paced I, I gameplay. Find it, I find it quite simple. <laughs> Oh, it's, wow. Welcome you to Dialogue things... Choices Podcast, whether you like it or not. We're quite simple. No, you Spe probably like it, though. You probably like it because of the, you know, you're watching eh. it right now. So. Eh? What? It was they replaced, like by, it. It was like replaced it. by a crossword last week. These people are happy with jangling keys. Oh. <laughs> it's being, being mean Again. to my audience. <laughs> oh, no. All the yeah. keys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Hell Divers is on fire. Speaking of other things, whether you like it or not, uh, I guess uh, Hell Divers, when it launched, uh, had a thing somewhere saying that uh, you need a PlayStation account to log into it in the long term, Correct. but they had to disable it because it broke or something because everything was broken right. when that game uh, came out. There was a limit to how many requests per minute that they could possibly do, and which seems like a problem it, for like a thing of that scale. <laughs> Well, I think like Sony. It, yeah. I don't think Sony showed up going, "Oh, this, this is going to be a hit." I think they showed up going, "Like, okay, I think this could turn a profit." And then when it became a hit, they're like, "Oh, oh, oh, no!" <laughs> like, it's like every step of well, this process assumed that it, it had to fail. Like, it couldn't be good enough. We just lost Andrew. There he's back. There is the wow. fart noise. There's my internet. Bitten. Just like um, a pl Sony's in my internet. They immediately heard me talking about it and kicked me out. All right, I'm not going to say anything. Anyways, For those that don't Sony know, Andrew's mistake. Discord farts every time he joins. That's just, that's who he is. We have to embrace no, him. No, I just fart every time I join anything. Explosively. That's a real medical condition. <laughs> we haven't, no one's heard from Mandy in months. <laughs> She's married. <laughs> This does that, yeah. The farts do account for walking into rooms too. So yeah, it is pretty tough. Yeah. For her. Um, but anyway, they turn. They try yeah. to turn. They turn. They announced they're turning the login to a Sony account back on, and yeah, the internet has been displeased. And I guess now, well, now Helldivers Two has like almost as many negative reviews as pop as positive ones on Steam or something. As of last time I checked, actually, it had more negative reviews than positive. It went down 50%. Does it? Check. I thought Steam, I specifically thought Steam had a system for this to prevent mass uh Well, it doesn't prevent, but it, it contextualizes it. So, oh, it contextualizes it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, overwhelmingly yeah. negative. Like, yeah, that but, is... but, but it's, uh, yeah, it is 49% positive right now. So it is mm. more negative than positive. I, you just voted found the, negative. I just found the graph that indicates it, but the graph, like, the graph no longer is shown by default. You have to reveal it. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that it's not shown by Wow, this is pathetic. It is what the real <laughs> down. You, you can, like, like, this graph is so obvious that it's just a waste, like a, a pointless blip. It's just, it had such good reviews, like perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, negative. What happened? Oh, I better fucking, I better check the news. What came it out? It was recently? the darling of the internet. Oh, account linking update. Oh, one, no. Oh, one, PlayStation shit. Oh, one ne one negative review is by Colonel RPG. <laughs> It, it is. is. I, I just said that. I said he he reviewed yeah. it negatively. I can't But I did it. it before. It wasn't in reaction to this. No, he did it uh, over a month ago, less than a month ago. Yeah. Like, do you want a tech demo where you do random meaningless missions, quote unquote, over and over again, where the game crashes half the time and you get kicked off your team the other half? Buy this game right now. Damn. Hey, we're not here to discuss my gripes with the game. We're talking about you people's think, gripes with the PlayStation you got, being a you got, bunch you got of chain one, that shit at. You got one you're a clown response and one hilarious I am, response. <laughs> I am I am I, I am eternally eternally reinforced by people being uh disagreeing with me on the internet so <laughs> i have to say uh i think one of the funnier parts too about this is that uh wow I, oh, of course i'm going to trust a review from aspen gold um the funniest thing to me is the uh the fact that like so in the context here right a lot of people were able to buy hell divers 2 in regions that is no longer supported thanks to the playstation account linking however and this is a big caveat you can get a full refund for the game from Steam, regardless of your playtime. They will give that is you a incorrect. full refund. That is not <laughs> that incorrect. Is... They, are, they are doing it right now. I can right send now. you the email. I can send you the email right now of my particular attempt of getting a refund. When did, when did you attempt have... to get the refund? This morning. This morning. So, I, I, so you're I, not I... in a region that's blocked. No, no. 
Oh, right, right. Okay. So yeah. you said regardless You're just being of, a oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I, no, yeah. no, I was you're trying. I was baby. trying. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I trying should have to... context it more. If you're in a region okay. that locks you out, you are no longer literally able to play it. Steam will just fully refund you. You yeah. are not okay, being okay. screwed here in any way, except for the fact that you can't play the we game. We should actually lay the is... groundwork correctly for this topic because yeah. we didn't really. Yes, but... correctly. But uh, uh, Hel so Helldivers yeah. requires you to actually log into a Sony account or a Will in a few weeks in order to play the game. I think it's which at the end of the month, yeah, yeah. Is both yeah, not a problem and is a problem because it, for most people it's not a problem and they're just being babies about signing up for a basic account. Like a thing you have to do for most popular multiplayer games. Almost all of them are like, oh, sign up for your fucking Riot account in order to play this game. And I'm not saying yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. I don't love that. I don't think it's a good thing. I'm not championing the fact that a game that's already out suddenly adds additional requirements. But that's also extremely normal and not like the end of the world. And it's weird to react that strongly to it. But yeah. yes, there are just countries that PlayStation isn't in. Yeah. So you just can't. Yeah, there's a good. There's a good. You, of them. you at least normally can't get an account there uh, for this Dozens purpose. I imagine you could probably just make a fake account and use that. Yes. Because I have a you Japanese can. PlayStation account I've used for years because I I think I got it to download LSD because it's only on the mm -hmm. PlayStation on the Japanese PlayStation Network. So I've literally bought games with my fake Japanese account, which I you make by just yeah, look, you you look up. It, Japan on Google or on, I wasn't Google Images. That would not that'd be less helpful. You look you look up Japan on Google Maps, pick a random street address, and say you live there, and that's the level of verification yeah. they have that you're a Japanese citizen, and they're and they are the yeah, Japanese Tony. company. So I don't imagine there's any more scrutiny anywhere else in the world and for PSN. What you're saying is people should do crimes. You crimes, should, yeah, you, you should. It's not a crime. Should, you should defraud it's, no, it Sony. <laughs> That's the thing. It is, it's like literally not fraud, a crime. Though. It is it's a, a civil but it's misdemeanor. Only, it's only a fraud yeah. if you purchase something on with that fake account fraud isn't, and it turns yeah. out that that was a lie. But it's not. No one can hold you against fraud for making a fake. Oh, Sony free can account. ban you. It's a, it, uh, a well, yeah, sure. To... But that's not a crime. Sony could just no, ban no. It's you. not a crime. So I'm saying I'm not a crime. Yeah. it's not a crime. It's like a, a civil misdemeanor, and it is fraud, but it's not a crime. Either way, I, I don't That's think good. it either way, there is no punishment here involved for anybody that is being affected. If you are unable to play the game, get a refund. Yeah. If you uh don't want a PlayStation account, get fucking bent, idiot. It's free. Just go to PSN and make it an account. Like it's not you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to put your fucking credit card in. Just make a dumb account, put it into your fucking whatever, your password keeper thing, and you'll be fine. Like just I, I do. Th I do think that it genuinely sucks that if you were playing the game already and you just lost access to the game, or you otherwise were interested in, it, and now you're just not going to be allowed to play it according to like the basic rules. I yeah. don't believe I... that the outrage is entirely sincere because no, it's not. Gamers no. love to just get angry about things, and social media creates like anger, anger snowballs, and. I You're, don't sincerely believe that all these people are this mad that people in a different country besides theirs uh, don't get to really play weird, the game anymore. It? Like that's not how gamers behave. Like I don't that doesn't gonna, that doesn't come gonna, across as sincere. It comes across as like I have this this is the thing I can use as an excuse to get angry. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am of the highest magnitude of doubt. That 171,000 people lost access to the game. And <laughs> that is just how many. <laughs> that how the, many of negative yeah, that's, that's how many negative reviews have come in <laughs> since the announcement. And you cannot tell me with a straight face that that is how many players are getting kicked off this game. Because the only people who have a right to complain are the people who literally can no longer play it. You can't sit here and bitch at me that, like, you have to make a Sony account. That's not a legitimate yeah. complaint. That's like being upset you have to pay taxes in the United States. Yeah, buddy. Welcome to the fucking game. <laughs> like, we all live in think society. People I are allowed to complain it's not, that... It's not there's, hiding that. People are allowed to com complain station. that a bad thing is happening and that injustices are happening to types of people that would want to play this game or that bad business practices are happening in just in general, which is what this is, to have this happen yeah, in the first sure. place. But... The games industry actively gets worse every single year, and none of these people fucking say anything about anything ever, basically, and half of them are influencers. They don't say anything that, about the things like, that actually matter. Actively. Yeah. In, oh, I'm just but, saying, like, it's it's so it's so selective that it reads as insincere. It's just that it's just that 
it I, I see it as just like oh there was an outrage ball and i got to be in a, a part of it and i'm probably yelling about something for other reasons than the, the reason i'm currently yelling about this and it's just like it's, it's especially because i see it as part of like this is the uh game that was that was coming under fire as part of gamergate 2 and it's like okay i see wait was it <laughs> there, yes what you- yeah because like what? Cause, yeah. cause they were champ because Gamergate 2 was championing this game as being like the true anti-woke game because they're so dumb they don't understand <laughs> st- basic Starship <laughs> Troopers uh, satire. But then they found out that it's led by a diverse team and they're like, were we tricked gamers? Like they, they're, they're oh, sincerely. You're talking, this, yeah, you're talking about that whole, guy. There's a whole, there's a whole stupid arc. Just... And so uh, it, that's that has poisoned the well a little bit where I'm like, oh, I remember Gamergate one where you all pretended it was about ethics and journalism. And it was actually from the ground up, literally always just about being just hating women. It was just that yeah. was the whole point to the point where the actual mm-hmm. supposed ethical violations were just made up and never happened and didn't stand up to like seconds of scrutiny. if You did look at them at all. And people still championed that excuse for literal years when there was no cases to look at and it's so akin to that line like oh you have you have a you i i just i'm i'm suspicious of all gamer outrage cycles because they're never about things that matter they're almost always about like this oh this this minor thing had happened i now have an excuse to yell at this thing that i was already getting mad at for this other reason that's usually about being like anti-woke or something i'm like i'm so tired i'm so tired y'all like i yeah there's it's it's like y'all collectively gave us the popularity of gotcha games. You don't get to pretend to care about ethics anymore. <laughs> it, again, I, I, I that's the thing is I think there there is like even if you read these reviews on Steam, you can see that a lot of these people are just genuinely complaining about the decision, but not because they're affected by the decision. They're like upset for people on their behalf, which is a very it, it's an unnecessary no, I think, I think, thing to do when it's like, not I, something that's actually a detriment to both. Like the game itself doesn't do it doesn't do anything that makes it less playable. It nothing changes about the game except for a validation, which is required. It's a thing that's that, like from the gate. It told you this when you signed into the game for the first time. It told you, hey, you're going to need a PlayStation account. Just a heads up. We disabled it because of other reasons, but you're going to fucking need it, bud. And if you continue to play ignorantly, assuming this would never come to be, that's on you, man. That's like completely on you. You were told that you were going to be owed something and you now you're being asked to pay for it and you're upset. You were told this. There was no surprise. This didn't come out of left field. You weren't like flabbergasted by this. It's always fucking in there. I'm I d I don't I personally don't have a, a PSN it's, account. It, but uh I, I don't have a problem with having it, a PSN account, it, but I had no idea that you would need a, a PSN It says account. it. It says it on the Steam yeah. page when you buy the fucking game. It says I, it. I, I, I the, the extent of things that I read when I buy a game is the title. That's it. What? You don't That's read the, any the, of the like anything you don't read else. If there's DRM no. in it. You don't read if there's Nothing. any kind of like literally what? There, there's DRM in it. And I'm not the only on person. Steam. Well, also that, yeah. No, no, but nothing. no, but this game has it tells you if there's third party DRM and what DRM because some third party DRM is bad for your computer. Yeah. Like it's yeah. this is I read the little like, notification like, again, that happens above the purchase button, and in this case, the notification was if you play this game in Japan, oh, everything's going to be in Japanese. Was like the warning for some yeah. reason, <laughs> and, Wait, it said that, ch- they, and it said that to everyone for some reason. Japan? I guess not. It, is it to like a law in Japan? It's just anything? above the the thing on Etsy. Hell divers. It might not. Too, really it might not be a dual. It might not be a dual in Japan. Like it might. You might just being a ja- buying a Japanese only version. Uh, oh, you've got, okay, yeah. Notice this game only supports Japanese interface and voice for customers in Japan. <laughs> what? Yeah. That okay. So it doesn't. Yeah. Station. It just means that they don't. They I don't feel get like a the game notice that has, section. Probably uh, should say that too, <laughs> if it's that important. It it says it. It's in the fucking like yellow and orange and the on the right side. It says yeah. require third party account. No, PlayStation. I'm, I'm looking at it. It's I see there. it. It's all. It's physically lower than the purchase button. Is the problem? <laughs> this is not okay, good UX. Well, <laughs> yeah, and the fucking front of food boxes don't have the nutritional requirements on it. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna advertise that shit in the front, and you shouldn't need to. Just 
turn yeah. the box around <laughs> like just pick it That's up fine. and turn it around i, think, I mean i've, I think I've learned somebody... never to read this stuff because it never affects me and it still isn't yeah I, it still I, doesn't I just, it, like, it never affects me but, <laughs> that's but why guess what if it's if it's something that does if in historically a game published by playstation has not worked in your region i think it would be behoove of you to do the research and see hey does the hell divers 2 require oh it requires a playstation account i can't do that damn i shouldn't probably play this game oh wait my game friend told me it doesn't Sony. matter but like, that's above the play. That's above the buy button. That's the first Why thing you I see. Try? I don't <laughs> like, care who published the game. <laughs> but uh, but I'm um, but again, the point being is that's, that this yeah. isn't this is. This I, is I Fox cared that outrage. my friend group like, was like, cannot... "Hey, we're gonna play Helldivers 2 I'm like, "Yeah." And yeah. I did, then I bought it. That was the thought process. Yes. And so that's that's the thing. It's like you, again, this this is a that's a mentality that is totally fine, sane, and rational. I th- like I think it's cr- it's correct care about this stuff. Like, I was I was like I, just, I, said, I like everything aside. Like I do think it's just correct that like Steam is offering refunds for the game, even yes, though yeah. no matter how much you play should. the game. Because yeah, like it's I not, think that is absolutely correct. It's, it's actively fucked up that that Sony or Arrowhead or whoever was in control didn't preemptively. Sony. I'm saying I'm, I'm saying that this this part of the process, not the sign-on thing. I'm saying that whoever mm. was in control of this specific part, it's fucked up that they didn't ban people from buying it in regions that weren't going to be able to play the game. Like they knew this, they knew this was coming because yeah, yeah. it was supposed to launch with this functionality. So they shouldn't have allowed it to be purchased in those regions. And that the fact that that's being added I... now in response to this is a fuck up. I would be curious. I would almost say that is also Sony. Sony published it. Arrowhead just develops it. They don't manage any of this stuff. I would say Sony is the one who is in charge of ensuring that this is this uh, this game is accessible to the audiences that it's supposed to be. The fact that Sony didn't put a ban on it is their fault. They are publishing oh, yeah. it. They should hopefully know where Sony, they're publishing. Hopefully, this all gets works. retracted because it, it's so obviously stupid. Like this was... I, don't, I don't think so. I, I think it should stay in place now. The fact that the way spite. the game is reacted. Yeah, the <laughs> fact that you fuckers reacted this way, you deserve it now. Fuck you. Your account's locked. You don't deserve to play this game. You, you've lost democracy. You should have been <laughs> stuck to the cause, right? You should have you should have done anything in your power to fucking kill bugs. If that means make a fake PlayStation account, by fucking God, for the country, you would do it. The fact that you won't do it, you don't deserve to play this fucking game. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of the goddamn Helldivers lobby. I don't want to see your stupid, unpatriotic ass in this fucking game. Not the anymore. Com- the comments will be funny on this one. Yeah, this the comments will be funny on this one because they always like squish us into being like, why do you guys, you guys are such a, a circle jerk hug box of same opinion. And, no, and not and circle so, jerk. I'm, I'm, I'm trying then, to push and back. They'll, and they'll reduce it to being like, uh, it's like, I can't believe Keith's anti-consumer because they always have to like, Whenever we have any talk about any controversy, it gets crunched into just being on one side of things, and they'll, so they'll ignore the weird, the specific nuances of me being like, I, I'm <laughs> like, I think this change is bad and dumb, and they shouldn't have done it. But also, I, I'm inherently suspicious of gamer outrage cycles. Whereas Andrew's like, no, literally fuck people over. It's funny, and yes. people and people no, will be it, like, they're on the same side. <laughs> it's, 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 they, they did this. They, if gamers want to start shooting first, then that's how it's going to be. All they had to do, no, it's the people, the- again, the people who don't have access to the game get their money back. It sucks, I agree, but at least they're being compensated. Anybody who is upset on their behalf or upset because they have to make an account, no, fuck you, dude. Get the hell out of the game. I don't want to see your stupid ass. Like, I was just trying to get my money yeah. back. That's that's <laughs> fine. I don't know why you didn't, I don't know why you didn't get your, well, you put 10, you have 10 hours on record, Colonel. I have 10 why hours in the game. Get your money? How are you gonna get your money back? It's two hours minimum. Because <laughs> like, I saw a screenshot of maximum. somebody going like you did. Somebody going, oh, they, they're refunding even if uh, even if you you, you have many hours. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh I, I'm into that. That's that's me right there. And it wasn't it wasn't me right there. <laughs> okay, well that's that's advantageous of you. I appreciate it the was advantageous. Well, of nature advantageous. of your of your <laughs> attempt. I can't believe Colonel doesn't, Colonel doesn't want to play Hell Divers with us anymore. I can't believe. Uh... The first thing I, I, the, I don't the know, first man. indicator I, I had that any of this was happening was somebody sent me a retro spring question that was like, "Now that Hell Divers is over, are you going back to Overwatch?" Hell well, <laughs> no. Why did Overwatch fucking change? Is it not owned by Blizzard anymore? Because maybe we'll talk about it. But like, unless the hands have changed, no. <laughs> Why would I? What is? 
it's funny because they're, like, they're, like, they're like, now that Helldivers is dead. I'm like, Helldivers is dead? By what standard? Dead. Well, I mean, uh, 171,000 people said that it's bad now, so I guess it means it's bad now. It is, um, I think, I personally think it is a very, uh, what's the word? Can I ask you what, what this isn't good, unknown, but every time a cycle, <laughs> like, every time that a, a big, like, very Twitter unusual. moment happens that supposedly kills a game, it never actually kills a game. But it doesn't, is, it but that's the thing, but It's though. like a coin this flip that the game might just be more popular afterwards because of how much press they had about the thing. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, Thanks. everyone's talking about Helldivers today. What's going on with that? Oh, it's just that you have to make an account? I'm suddenly thinking yeah. about Helldivers a lot this week. <laughs> and, then they get, and then they buy Helldivers. <laughs> that's how what is advertising the, works. So what changed about the game uh, to make it bad? Like, what, what did they change in the game to make it not playable anymore? What, what what do you mean? Uh, well, I see a lot of reviews that say it was a great game, but what what changed about the game? How come the game? Oh, not I good see anymore? what you mean. Yeah, did they yeah. get rid of something? They did they change an ability? They that I think uh, if people think that the popularity of a game, or rather, um, um, no, if people see games as um, a popularity contest, then a game not being as popular or people not liking it as much means the game is dead, right? For in those in in that in, does in happen. So yes, you, the weird the weird way that people that. talk about like the four competing first person shooters that you could play, is like the moment yeah. one thing goes more popular, the other one's dead. So their definition of living or dead games is that three games exist in all of reality because everything else yeah, is no, dead. Their definition is the definition of dead is they don't play it anymore. No, I don't. I don't I play don't this know. game, so it's dead. Like like because objectively, like Overwatch has been dead since twenty eighteen. Overwatch, just, Overwatch is dead. That's it's when Overwatch I started. Now. <laughs> but that, but it Overwatch, has been dead because of the set, because of Overwatch. The, 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 <laughs> like it, no, no, no. But before that, it was just because the the goals that were set by that, the company. Yeah, yeah. I think I I I I have that opinion. It's, obviously, I still play Overwatch, but that's not what, what I'm trying to say. Is I think the goals that Blizzard <laughs> had for Overwatch since they pivoted from overwatch on to overwatch 2 just have largely not been met and and particularly in regards to the free to, to going to free to play as this sort of let's get more players in i think it wasn't successful they don't i don't think i i, I like the play numbers reflect a game that successfully pivoted to free to play I, and and i would say the moment they announced overwatch 2 they killed overwatch 1 like that was the problem. They should have never even considered it. Overwatch Two didn't need to happen. You could have literally sat on your dumb fucking gold hoard and just kept making characters and maps for in perpetuity, and it would have never been a problem. No one would have been upset with you. The fact that you needed to change literally everything for the worse was the defining factor here. <laughs> like, what, that's the what problem need, with live what, games, though. With live service, is it though? Sort of, because yeah. like it, Apex Legends doesn't have an Apex Legends two. Apex is still just Apex, the same fucking dumb game. Like they it, just kept it, adding characters and maps. Dead? I don't think it's dead. I don't think Apex is dead at all. I think Apex wasn't gets he, wasn't of Apex players. the one that got a bunch of players? Like everybody's super scared about their PCs being hacked and whatever. Because I well I couldn't tell you because I don't play it, but I can tell you that I see a lot of people still streaming it. I forgot it's Apex Legends popular... existed. I mean, why, why would you remember it? But that's though? okay. Like, uh, you also forgot you about Roblox. It's it's fine. Do you, well, do you forget remember it? fucking? Well, yeah, because uh, Roblox was called? that game that was around when I was super young, basically. So it's was it? it's just fucking weird that it's still around. Yeah, was Roblox it around, around back forever. Then? Yeah, oh. it just wasn't the same. Yeah, but game. it's like the biggest game. That's, that's how big it is. <laughs> like Roblox is true. like let's see. The biggest game is Fortnite. Let me. Uh, maybe you're right. I think you may be right, but it's not even Minecraft anymore. In Minecraft, have you forgotten to bite Minecraft? No, no Minecraft doesn't have any. Well, it didn't for a Mine, long time. Minecraft have any is kind eternal. Of DLC. Minecraft yeah. is eternal. They need to release Minecraft two with endless line of sight. They 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 need they already to... did re release Minecraft two. No, it's two point is not two. Uh, they rec no, they released Minecraft Bedrock Edition. That's basically that it count. added like all the microtransactions into it. It added a fucking account linking system. See, I added, just checked because I had to be sure. Uh, yeah, like Roblox is three years older than Minecraft. And by older, I mean older than the early yeah. access version of Minecraft, not the launch version in 2011. 
Yeah, Roblox is mm. old as fuck, man. How insane is, like, is it to think that like back in the day, Minecraft was an early access for two years, and that felt like a long time back then. And now people don't even think of Minecraft as being a game that was ever in early access because it's the it's been finished for like thirteen years and has just been like getting updates forever. They just yeah, they keep adding stuff. Like but, nowadays, but speak- a game might be in early access for seven fucking years, and you're just like, I don't know, it's just what the game is, man. Like Seven Days to Die has just came out of early access. It's basically the same game. Like it's every not- every VR game is still early access, which is like the funniest shit. To me. <laughs> Wait, really? I think I think Ale- I think Half Life I think Half Life Alex is like the only completed VR game I've ever seen. The rest are always like oh, still in early access. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Haven't you been yeah. around for like ten years? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, Roblox has been around for more than half of my life. Roblox old. It came You're out when old. I was sixteen. Oh mm-hmm. man, I'm thirty four. Gross. So yes, I forgot about Roblox. <laughs> Can you Benjamin Button yourself? I figured That's it. Pro- I, I I I categorized Roblox in my brain alongside the likes of like Club Penguin or not Tamagotchi. What's that fucking Neopets? I'm like, <laughs> Neopets. But like some baby site for baby gamers or something that were babies because it was ba- it was for babies when it came out. A billion years it's ago, true. the kind idea that it's, I know it still is the idea that it kept finding an audience or eventually found an audience or whatever the fuck happened and exists today on the scale it does is absurd. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. And it still oh, looks like such an embarrassing garbage game. Like it doesn't look like a real video game. That's what hurts me deep inside. Like Minecraft That's why is, a, Minecraft is a deeply iconic game immediately. Roblox looks like a fucking like 1996 like you, Lego helicopter game you play on your grandma's computer. Uh, yeah, that, that one I would where you say... that sim copter. Remember that you put out fires yeah. and yeah, stuff, it's... and it looks like garbage. And it controls like garbage, and you're a kid, and you can't figure out how to even play it at all. It looks like that. Roblox looks like Sim Copter or whatever it was called. Look, I I love Lego in, Island in right? modern Island year. Great. Fantastic game. <laughs> But it does, yeah, Roblox does look awful. I, I would consider the difference of, like, Roblox and Minecraft is the difference between buying a Lego set and just getting a tub of Legos. And Roblox is very much a tub of Legos. It's old, it's crusty, it doesn't, it looks like it's been played with too much and not new pieces added uh, in a while. But you could do anything with it. You can literally do anything with it. Whereas the box of Legos is like, yeah, it's nice, it's pristine, it's got its... It has its pieces, it knows where it goes, and it's very fun. However, you have to kind of like bring over the bin to have any kind of fun with it. You need to add mods. Bring and over the things. bin. At least yeah, you, you have to bring the- At least Lego looks like that yeah. on per- like for a reason. Like they're literal building blocks. Oh, oh, you mean you, Roblox yeah, well, yeah, you is mean just like Wyatt. fucking nasty looking, and you can't build stuff I, out of it. That's just like your character I'm model is sure. just a square, and they cut arms slits on the sides of the square so that your arms can wobble like that's some of the character models in the game it's I, just like I, and you, you can't build something with that guy you just, it's 3d models in a video game you just gotta fucking make something else that's how roblox works hmm. for me the the, 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 stari- the staring into the abyss moment actually a lego of, game of maybe just being completely baffled was just like me being like a like the pandemic has started and the world will never be the same 2020 and then just getting a fucking message like will you play roblox and i'm like the fuck did you say to me (laughs) no the the baby game from 15 years ago what the fuck are you talking about right now (laughs) why would you ask me that But who who got wait was it a comment or was it like somebody? I think it was personal? stream chat, and I think it was because we played oh. Fall Guys, which is a little bit closer to that territory of like baby game. Oh uh, yeah, nothing mm, made me realize how baby game the Fall Guys audience is quite as hard as streaming it and having a weird influx of like obviously idiot child streamer audience. Like <laughs> you <laughs> said a bad <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus Christ, go away. They're gonna tell on me. No. 
fuck. Don't, that's don't that's really how it was. Mom. They were like gonna go after me for my language and gonna tell on me. <laughs> and I'm like, well, how did you get here? I guess it's like the YouTube, like when you put the de- the yeah. game you're streaming in, they'll like they'll like browse. There must be some page for browsing people who are currently streaming that game on YouTube. But I haven't looked at I like think if you search, I haven't looked guys, at like it does that sometimes. Yeah. It's, I haven't looked at like gamer YouTube, the gaming f- version of the YouTube site for so long, which I think was trying to be Twitch. So it had like those kinds of pages, but yes, I don't even remember how to get to it if it even exists anymore. It's a YouTube, uh, I it either. It's like it's like it, dark. It was gaming.youtube.com. Yeah, uh, it was just it was you, just YouTube, you, but dark mode and worse. Yeah, so if you go to gaming.youtube.com, they changed it to just be like the gaming category. So like, oh, this is just like all the games that fit into gaming. But it has that stuff. So it's just like top live games and you can click on, hey, Roblox, 52,000 people are watching. Let's click on it. That was such an obviously like like half-assed move where like some CEO or someone just said to do it but had no actionable strategy or advice on how they were supposed to implement it. So just some poor... yes. Some poor people just had to make the gaming YouTube that was just like it's the YouTube, way, what, but uh, what a fucking URL. A red, not the best URL you've ever seen. <laughs> YouTube.com slash uh, gaming slash games. Uh huh. Just to just to um, circle back to the dead game theory. It's not. I think people are right to. There it is. Fifty-two thousand no, people right. are watching Roblox right now. It's the fourth most popular yeah. streaming game on on YouTube this moment. After f- on, yep. free f- Garena Free Fire, what the fuck is that? Uh, probably a free to play. Wait, anyway, wait, wait, wait. What I'm like, no, yeah. no, no. I, I have to interrogate this. I'm so sorry, but what? Player what Unknown's playing? Battlegrounds is all the way down Indiana. in. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, the video game, is in like 50th place, oh. and then sixth place is is PUBG Mobile, and then fifth place is PUBG Mobile India specifically. <laughs> like yeah, each one of these gets each one of these gets they more get... specific and more niche and is more popular anyway. <laughs> Yeah, because they're, they're pushing yeah. adverts for those. It's very funny. I, I, I mean, I've hey, seen a few, uh, a few Twitch streamers uh, be basically sponsored by PUBG Mobile, and they're specifically catering to mobile. I mean, Apex Legends is in the top 15 next to Monster Hunter World and Pokemon. This is Valorant's why I, below that. Like, This is why I can't be a gaming YouTuber anymore. <laughs> what, because you don't want to play like, children games for the audience of children? <laughs> I just I'm so out of touch with what people even do. They're like, it's that's just, a it's bonus. Mo- that's it, a good thing. It's, it's not good because I'm dying. <laughs> I need these views. It, I'm so, like, so what's Garena Free Fire and fucking? I you need to play Backpack I, I, Wars. Mobile and, and, Legends uh, Bang Bang. <laughs> it's a real yeah. video game that's in tenth place yeah. on YouTube right now. Yeah, 21, World of Tanks is a real it. game that real people play and not a parody that people put on their videos as a fake trailer. <laughs> World of Tanks? Yeah, like, World of Tanks World is a of very Tank? popular game. No, I yeah. know it's real. I'm, just, I'm, I'm upset uh, that the fake looking mobile game that's that so popular. generic and has been in so many oh, no- right. annoying ads for so long is in fucking ninth place in the world right now. Well, well just yeah, on YouTube, it, not on play, Twitch. Like, let's just video be games. very clear here. <laughs> Twitch people is one of each is a more example yeah twitch twitch does have a little bit more organic sort of uh now if we word? go to twitch twitch is a very different world yeah right seventh now, place is valorant fifa <laughs> uh is it or no. whatever fc means for soccer is it's, that not fifa they, they, that... they lost the name of the fifa it's the was fifa uh it's the old oh, fifa series are you talking about youtube i'm on twitch yeah I'm, i hit the browse button so it's sorting by most popular games Oh, that's recommended for you. Sorry, uh, you fool! Okay, you fool! Yeah, FIFA. I I forgot. I don't care about fucking viewership. I care about like games that are interesting. Oh, uh, no, no, you Sorry. completely forgot the topic we were talking about. <laughs> no, my, it's just when you click browse, it sets it to the same fucking sort by option. Uh, I mean, the fact that just chatting is the number one thing on a gaming streaming 
site is very funny to me. I love that. I hope that it stays yeah. like that. Forever. Well, it is a catch all like for everything else that could not be gaming practically. So it is yeah, but de facto it's popular. Just, and it and it's technically even it, it's underrepresented because a lot of streamers don't get themselves into just chatting even though they just chat for like it an hour before. People it is insane play. saying that GTA is the second top game on YouTube and the, and the top game on on Twitch right now and it's just like yeah, why would yeah. they make another game? <laughs> Apparently the game they yeah, made yeah. eleven years ago is enough. They could just they just should, Rockstar should just never make a video game ever again. And they, they don't they, they don't make another video uh, yeah. game ever again. I mean they haven't that really. Same with they, Valve. They, it's the same with Bethesda. It's the same with Bioware. No no video games for anybody. Yeah. Just enjoy the same schlop. Rocket League's beating Fortnite. Didn't Fortnite buy Rocket League? Wait a second. There's a whole fucking section dedicated to casino games. Are you shitting me? Wow. What is this? Yeah. Wait, wait, this is just literally like slot machine game. Are you fucking kidding me? You found virtual Guys, casino? Is, is that what you're looking at? Yeah. What is this? I thought it was an Atari well, game. It looks like the Atari game Casino, and I was like, wow, that's a lot of people playing that, that fucking like, old Atari game. Wasn't that like one of the metas for a while there on Twitch was to just actually what? gamble on Twitch because it's like addictive to watch people gamble, but then they, it was like what encouraging gambling fuck? habits. They had to ban it, and now people that want to gamble for real on on streaming have to go to other websites or something. I think that was like a whole controversy well, I have I heard about because changed. I don't watch Twitch. Because this shit is definitely still just gambling. Like, this yeah, is just well, straight these up people are in increasingly finding more and more ancient, weird, unbanned casino games to play until that one gets banned potentially. <laughs> Wait, I think this person's actually at a casino. <laughs> Wow. I'm oh, sure it's not just me, Goober. This person is streaming that's not intended that's not intended for certain audiences, but it doesn't oh, it may contain gambling. Uh I well, it's good, I'm good of them to mention. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, this is just a legitimate arcade machine. Is she just wait, is she just in front of an arcade? Anyway, now we're just like talking a, about did things you buy we're a slot machine? At? <laughs> anyway, but I want to ask you, I want to I want to recenter the conversation. It's awful. Though. I want to recent this conversation apart from the Colonel whatever the is going on. I'm the centrist, the eternal one. Uh, I'm, uh, how dare you? I, I want, to, but I do want to recenter the conversation. In uh, people do see games as like popularity context, contest. I should say. I should say. Context, yeah. uh, and if you go on to Twitch and you look at you know what is more pow more popular, CS:GO or Overwatch, and there it is. Overwatch is dead. Proof. Proof that it is. The reason why I say Overwatch is dead is more nuanced. It's more out of understanding or having a vague understanding of what Blizzard wanted Overwatch to be and what it wants Overwatch to be right now. And, uh, and you know, news and stuff like that that comes around uh, about the, the, you know, the, well, the fact that they laid off like half the team and the, the fact that nobody um, in the Overwatch team got uh, their uh, performance bonuses this year and all of that is shit and it's bad of Blizzard to do that but it's also you know an, in an indicator of uh, their own perspective of what the game is to them so what I'm saying is a game can be I, I, uh, what I'm saying is people are wrong to think of games as a popularity contest but I don't think that I don't think that a game like Helldivers um can you know is is going to die anytime soon because the expectations Ye set to it were so low and and we started with that conversation i was i i tried to say that uh, but i didn't because you kept going in i i'm not I, i'm not complaining about that but uh, i tried to say that corporations are or publishers in particular are, are terrible publishers are terrible at, at setting expectations for their games like look at what what they expect what microsoft expected Baldur's Gate to, uh, 3 to uh, to be uh, even look at what Larian expected Baldur's Gate 3 to be, which is absurd, but still. Because um, it's absurd because they knew what they had. But the, the the fact that Sony didn't expect Helldivers 2 to do that well uh, means that, you know, even even if they, they cut their, their player numbers by, uh, by tenfold, it's still going to be a super popular game. It's still going to be very... Yeah, yeah. so I... I, I well, dead. Okay, so the concept of dead game is just a way to insult somebody's game. It doesn't actually have any like eh, clerical or like clinical answer to it. You can't say, "Oh, what counts as a dead game?" Because you can say, "Oh, it's a game that doesn't have any players on it." Well, how do you check? 
you can't check how many people play Overwatch. Steam you can't check how many people. But so that's the thing no, that's, is that you well, have to like thing. you have to find a bunch of third party inaccurate shit to try and prove a yeah, point yeah, that your game true. is dead to what just to tell someone their game is dead. But the per- if the person wants to play the game and they can play the game, who gives a shit if the game's dead? It has no value except to insult someone for not playing a more popular game. So it's just a, it's a pointless metric. Like when someone says, oh, you know yeah, what game yeah. is actually dead? Like fucking World of Warcraft is a dead game. You can't convince me it's a living game. It's not in the no, popular consensus. No, no, no one talks about WoW except for losers who play WoW. But WoW is not it's a game. That is the common, like, but that's the I, guess, I, guess if, it's, I guess if you filter out everyone who plays a game, then it's like no one's talking about. Yeah, it. but the, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Is like the game, of course, is dead because it's not in the cultural consciousness. I don't see ads every day on TV about buying WoW. I don't see people talking on television and news networks about WoW. I don't see like so. But when WoW was at its height, it was talked about constantly on most on like everywhere I looked. But it's not the it's not the concept. It's like the biggest talking point on Twitter anymore. So it must be a dead game. Like that? No, of course it's not. It's a game that like millions of people still play. But it's not in my face right now, being shouted at me like it's a even WoW players say that situation. WoW was dead so they can champion their other version of WoW. Exactly. So so I'm not wrong everyone else did but like the point is that dead games don't exist dead games exist when a game literally is unplayable well, when you cannot turn the fucking game on it's a dead fucking there, ubisoft there's, there's, there's enter such a chat ubisoft is just enter chat right now as you said that that game doesn't exist only games that you can't play okay <laughs> can we talk about that as well because i would like to talk about that what? i don't know you, what know, that you haven't read the news so ubisoft is uh for one day they, they're they're a couple a month or so ago like the the ceo i don't know if it's the ceo or like a vice president or something of ubisoft said something along the lines that people should be more comfortable of uh um about not owning their games and uh there's okay. like well no one does from... own their games but we'll move away from that that's not well not on steam on steam you own your games it's just no you don't user. no no you don't you, own, you, your... you don't yeah. own access to the games but you own the games you own the license then you don't own the game. If Steam died tomorrow, if if Gabe Newell decided to lift the Steam the servers and send yours. it in fucking space, the, okay, but how do I download it? How do I get no, the game? No, that's a different thing, though. That's a different thing. And no, it's, it's the same not. Thing. I, own, I own the game no, outside. No, 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 no. You can download a free-to-play I, game, but you don't own any license. What? Well, you do, technically. But I'm not but a lawyer, I'm saying so I don't that, know. Like, I think ownership, there is a, there's a difference between ownership and digital ownership, which is an important distinction. No, no, When no, I no, own no. it, Yes, it is. I own a game. I own a game. I own fucking games at my house right now in physical form that I can put into an Xbox and play the game. If if you pirate the or, game, you don't own it, right? No, you don't. You have, but you have access to it. It's right there in your disc. Yeah, no, but right? that's the thing. You don't have access to it because if it goes away, it's gone. No, forever. no, you, no, no. You have a disc, you, like right. You know what I mean? Like you, you get a get you pirate yeah, the game. I ha- you burn it into. I have it. You have access to it, but you don't own the then game, yes. right? Now you own the game. No, you don't, because you pirated it. What? What? Who says who? You own. If you you you, you well, come uh, prove. Come prove. You I, almost, I stole you that almost game. caught him in the contradiction, but then he corrected it. <laughs> come come prove that I stole the game. It? I'm saying that the ownership is a contract, and it's a, a specific contract of of. Uh, it, it's not about access. It's it's about you being legally. Um, entitled to have access to 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 have the thing, right? So, for example, if you buy a disc of GTA Three and you break the uh-huh. disc, you're not entitled for, to another disc because you know you need well, to no, buy another. Well, because it's one. mine. It's my game. I bought it and I broke it. It's my. You property, broke it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, but yeah. if you if you if you download a, a, a GTA Three off of online and you delete the file, you can download it again, right? It's, but if the, the servers, those are two different things. But if the servers go but away, the servers dead, you, you need to keep your file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but so the two those are two different things. One one is access That's what I'm to. I'm saying that right. that digital yeah. ownership is different than physical ownership. Physical ownership is you do own something. You own a tangible physical thing that no one can take from you. And the only way it goes away is if it's broken or. But once it's, it's in your playable. computer, it's physical. It, once it's in your computer, no, it is a physical thing because, because a hard, it's in your because a hard drive. drive. No, data is or not your physical. Disc. Data. Is no, it isn't. It's true, physical. but it's also not physical <laughs> when it's in a disc. It doesn't matter if yes, it's in it your is. hard drive, but it's in it. No, the it's, disc is it's physical. Very physical. The data is not physical. Yes. The data is written onto the disc physically. Well, <laughs> like it's, it's physically yeah. written. 
Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> then it's written on onto your computer physically as well. No, it's not. I it have is. A, I have a solid, no, I have a solid no magic. drive. It doesn't get written onto it's anything. Physical. It's physical. No, it's, it's new, not. New, it is. Colonel, it's the, no. You Colonel, don't know how solid state drives onto, work? When you, yes, solid state drives yeah, do they, not write anything they physically charged. onto the hardware. They have a, they have a, a neutron charge. That's physical. That's physics. What I'm saying that is... is not, that is not what I'm dope. saying is the difference between anyway. The difference between it, it, this the conversation doesn't matter because disc. we're getting off. We're getting off the point. We're getting off the point. Ubisoft okay. wants people just to st- basically stream their games in the future and not ha- actually buy. Um, okay, not buy that's games. fine. Yeah, Why not? so people there's a bunch of backlash to them because you know because subscription <laughs> okay. models are a lot more more uh, appealing. You could also the, just not the buy the game. They're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's why I'm saying Ubisoft has entered chat because the because the. They have taken away access. Not only like it wasn't Ubisoft the publisher of uh, one of my favorite racing games of all time. Let me Driver San Francisco. Let me actually look it up. Because it, yeah, it is. Of course, it's so Ubisoft. Of course, it's this motherfucker. But um, yeah, Driver San Francisco is such a phenomenal game. You can't buy it for years. You haven't been able to buy it. Um, but um, but yeah, the crew has been removed for from uh, people's libraries. People who own the game. Uh, and there, let, let me actually look it up so I can talk uh, with knowledge. You're talking about the just, crew too. I think it was the original, rather than what is it? The original? Yeah, yeah. rather than uh, crew two, because crew two is still going. Oh, is it just is the it? regular the crew? Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the crew has a has a single player campaign, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's all like, but but because it requires uh, you to be online to play, it, it, they they shut the servers down and you can't um, and you can't play them anymore. A Ubisoft game is at the center of it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely the crew. I'm I'm. Uh, this is complicated for me. Oh, just, yeah. oh, they yeah, did yeah. the they just did a a Titanfall thing. They made a game that is so the original crew is specifically only online, and then they stopped having the servers because the crew two came out. Okay. That's no, fine. no, the crew two came out a while back. They just shut down the servers because it's not profitable anymore. Yeah, uh, so that's same, fine. It's the same thing that's, for you uh, bought. You bought an online only game. When Overwatch shuts down, I'm not going to be upset that the fucking online only game shut down. <laughs> like, but I you're will. still going to be able to access your uh, your your. Well, local sure, you will, game. but uh, you you will be upset because the game. You'll be upset because the game's gone, but not because like oh, yeah. Blizzard stole my yeah. game from me. Like, <laughs> they did. They well, they did, yeah. Game. You should still be able to be like, hey, me and my buds that I selected by hand, let's play this video game I own. Like, how? Because that's how games worked for literally you need decades. To, you need to crack, you no. need but, now, but nowadays, it's like, nope, game doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Fuck you. Well, that's, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, that's a that's a different argument. That argument would be into everyone should have adopted Valve's uh, server style system. Of like everyone, it's like every server has to be privately owned, and companies don't maintain them. That should have always been the rule. No, there was no reason that, that, that game game let, that. there is, but no game company should ever own a game server ever, fucking ever. It's a bad idea because that means that when the get when the game company decides that it's too fucking expensive, they shut it down with the whole fucking game. You can play Left 4 Dead 2 right now forever in perpetuity because it doesn't require any access to Steam. You can just make a server, and Steam can or, and Left 4 Dead can connect to it. It's fine. Wowie, but it, like it doesn't act as it doesn't require access to Steam Left 4 Dead. Uh, you need. I mean, you need. Or is it, it just for, for updates? The, it's just for updates. It's just for updates. But like, yeah, yeah. Y- yeah like you, you can play like right now. You can play the old disc version of Counter Strike that didn't have Steam requirements on it because it's all tied to just dumb servers but you can't do it for the xbox version i wonder why because you had to play specific servers that was hosted by the company like you should yeah game companies just should never own servers i don't care like i don't care about the crew shutting down it's everyone's fault for buying the crew that didn't buy a game that had private server ownership like stop buying games that don't let you have private server ownership that's the stop buying solution. ubisoft games for one but also that's the, the, also the fine i don't care I'll- but like that, that's fight. the thing is like it's just like fucking you know it's just like loot boxes it's just like anything people get upset oh Diablo lets you just pay to win yeah idiot why wouldn't they people just bought the fucking pay to win game like why would you why would they not do that like just 
you, if you don't want something to exist, you have to just not buy it. And that's just the end of it. Nah, and, I think I it's know, okay like, not to buy it and to complain as well. Because I complain sure, about it. Sure, you can. I don't but guess what? <laughs> You're still getting the fucking shitty games you don't like because you no, bought I'm it. No, I'm not. I'm not buying Ubisoft yeah. games. Well, no, but I'm saying if you like, if, if people buy the crew and then also buy the crew too and get upset the crew's shutting down, well, the crew too doesn't have private servers either. You still bought a fucking game that's owned by Ubisoft that they will shut down at some point. Why would you do that, idiot? Like, if you if you really don't want servers to be shut down for games you like, don't buy games that uh, that have that power over the game just don't do that or don't give a shit i don't give a shit i don't care if like 90 percent of my steam library just ceased existing tomorrow that doesn't fucking matter i didn't buy it with that intention but i would be super fucking upset if i can't play doom anymore because i bought doom with the intention that i could fucking always play doom because it doesn't require anything so like that's my that's the thing i buy i buy hell divers 2 assuming that hell divers 2 will shut down one day and it will be unplayable and there'll be nothing left of it and that's fine i'm totally okay with that but yeah, I, I think be... for for online games, it's definitely more of a a reality is an an unavoidable reality, I should say. But that, I uh, but I also think that Helldivers Two would be cool as fuck if it had private servers. I think that'd be wildly awesome if I could make my own world and go at it with my friends. And I hope maybe when it decides to shut down, they do it. They just kill the whole battle pass system and they just make it all private servers and be done with it. That'd be a great way to sunset a game. I think that should be the more likely option because then it makes it so a game is still profitable and it's and it's you know post popularity because now it's it, again it now it turns into a game like left for dead where people can just buy it at any point in time and play it with their friends it doesn't matter if valve wants to show up to the party or not i personally think it should be <laughs> that right now it's it's definitely yeah. not a game that has uh like they're really consent. going out of their I way consent, but did you forget to ask valve <laughs> i don't need to ask valve because Gabe gave me consent in perpetuity when he let me buy Half-Life without Steam existing. It's your fault, Gabe. You fucked up. You should have remembered. <laughs> so competitive. What did Gabe do? <laughs> he knows what he did. He made Steam. He can't. He, how does he not know what he did? The... <laughs> he ruined PC gaming forever. He ruined it forever. Now gamers he, won't even make another fucking account to play a game because like, I already made Steam. It's too much. He liberated Please. us all from CD keys and shackled us all to DRM. Did he, he still really? have CD keys? Didn't yeah, he just obfuscate it, what it looks like? Just not yeah, exposed. But there's no escape now. Let's they need an online log on and internet to play video games, whereas PC games used to just work. Look, I like. let's take a... Let's take an actually good example here. I think like Friends vs. Friends is a perfect example. That is a game that should always and forever be uh, not tied to a game server. I don't think it should ever be required to to be a like be a uh, connecting to uh, the Friends vs. Friends game servers to play it. I think it should always be separate because it's a game that doesn't need that doesn't gain any value by being connected to one right there is no actual bonus or get or benefit to being mandated to playing on servers hosted by the company and something like overwatch you might see value in because it's a competitive based game where you want there to be some legitimacy in the competition and that has value in having ownership by uh the owner of the game which like that's not the reason they they make it online only though or uh no, of that there course. Are servers only. Uh, but it's i'm saying there, there's yeah. there are there are exceptions to this rule in saying that, that every game should have private servers yes i think that overwatch 2 could be both you could have your hey if you want to play comp it has to be through a server that's owned by blizzard but if you want to play quick play i don't give a shit who owns a quick play server like it doesn't matter if it's tom fraud or it bill <laughs> like, like who gives you know who gives a shit who's paying for this server here all that matters is that i can play overwatch 2 with a bunch of my friends and fuck around but like but seriously like that it, so yeah dumb. but like if i but the reason the reason why they don't do the one, the reason why they don't do it is for monetization. If you could, if you could have private servers, you could just unlock all the skins and just play. You know, ah, they sure. wouldn't play for, they wouldn't but, pay for skins but you're anymore. Playing, but you're just, well, you know what? Maybe here's a fucking maybe. 
skins aren't very valuable as commodities at all in the first place, and maybe you shouldn't rely on a fucking fi- financial system around it. Maybe you should make a game that actually has value that is worth buying because that's the fucking product you're selling. I don't know, oh, crazy fucking communism. concept. It, yeah, yeah, you know what? At this point, it would be. I feel like if you don't, if you buy something and there's, this, and you don't ex- would be, yeah. expect it. Yeah, if you buy something and that's not good enough, that's communism. Like you have to buy more of a thing. I can't just buy <laughs> eggs. I have to buy eggs with fucking Wi-Fi apparently. Because not for yeah. goddamn bam. DRM, DRM my eggs. Yeah, yeah. Please, please add some fucking like customization to my eggs so it can justify the fucking seven dollar price tag on them. Like it's just fucking. It just like why can't I just buy a game? Why can't I just buy a fucking game and play that fucking game? And then if I want to, right, I can buy another game. <laughs> I can buy a whole nother game and play that game if I want to. Why do I have to like tip my game per, like developers? <laughs> why why do I have to fucking buy weird little shit inside of the game to give them a little bit of injection of capital? That's the whole point of a fucking publisher. The publisher is the capital. The developer should be getting the money from the publisher to make more games. I shouldn't need to fund that shit in perpetuity. That's stupid. That's like insane behavior. If you can't, I I don't know. If you can't survive, if you can't survive by just making a game normally, don't survive. Don't make games. <laughs> like, don't do it. I, just, don't, well, like, I think the more we push such back stream against, of consciousness that I can't even follow anymore. <laughs> is it? I think that I I don't know. Uh, yeah, My argument little, is yeah. that all games, all games should be owned by players and they should not be solely relied on the the developers to be playable like you should not have to rely on a developer or publisher to make a game playable it should be playable the moment you buy it you can get updates or whatever but it should be playable from that point onward in perpetuity i should be able to play neo 2 just as much as hell divers 2 just as much as overwatch 2 there's no reason that in 10 years i can't download overwatch 2 or put in the disc god forbid and play overwatch 2 there's no reason why that besides greed besides like a shitty boring yeah, yeah. Un- but not just that greed but not just that people don't talk about don't even think about these things or are okay with these things and so there's no pushback or there's very little pushback well, it's a stream it's a fucking stream of shit you can buy a trillion games on steam right now you don't think about that stuff you don't think about the day that steam dies it's like talking to somebody about the day like your country you live in dies oh what happens if fucking you know euthuasia just vanishes from the continent no one's gonna think about that no one talks about that shit because it's not I... interesting or it's not pleasant but steam will die Steam no, but when Steam too. dies, like, when Steam dies, the games that the games that you download off of Steam will still be in your hard drive. They will maybe, still be yours. Your, but they, we'll see. Like I don't know. What if Steam decides, like, oh, on the way out, Tehe, we're actually going to uninstall all your games. We're just going to wipe the folder on the way out. <laughs> Feeling cute. Like, yeah. I don't think that's. <laughs> yeah. Think that's like uh, what? What if we? They have a publisher agreement that we have no idea about in the back end that says like, all right, if Steam shuts down, the games go with it, but. I don't want those games stored on anyone's hard drives. Get rid of them the moment that you shut the yeah, servers down. Not, yeah, that's not going to happen. But you, say, but I th- you say that, but no one thinks about it. No one knows. No one's like dissected what happens. Steam hasn't even said it. You can't like get, you. There's literally there's literally services that allow you to back up your Steam but library to your computer in a way that you can okay. just access the files. And, and, and who's you know, the, and who's the, services, the I mean, publishers? Who's to say publishers don't immediately make all the keys from Valve neglect, like go away, be un, be unusable, make it so well, those yeah. games, any of yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like but, no one but talks it doesn't about mean the, the contract. That's the same thing as you, you know, you buy a game. That's the, that's the same thing with a crew. You buy a disc of the crew and uh-huh. you cannot play it because the yes. publisher s- says that that you cannot play it. The, the yeah, and I not, and that's what I'm saying because. So the, you literally cannot play. It's like a physical thing. You can't play it. But if if it's like if Fallout Three that has no connection to online whatsoever, and Steam all of a sudden says your specific key is invalid, who gives a shit? Mm-hmm. Like you still have the game. You're like, who cares? I don't. Yeah. I see, you know what I mean? But it, but that's it's, what I'm uh, saying. That a lot the, of the problem of arises. Online. Yeah. The pro- uh, sorry to just to finish the point. The, the problem yeah. arises when when the games themselves do rely on those contracts to be continued. And you know, Fallout yes. Three, you can play it. It doesn't matter. But or or, or like, I, I've been informed that um, a game that I actually like quite a lot, 
um, Dead State, uh, which is a mm -hmm. survival zombie turn-based game, uh, apparently crashes all the time in, uh, in, the, in the, with the new Windows update, Windows 10. And it's basically you either play it with the Windows 7 or 8 or you can't play it at all these days. You know, the game is still playable. It just requires the, your machine to be all outdated. And there's a lot of games that were stuck in Windows 95 and Windows 98 that are like that. There's as well. a lot of games that are stuck in like Super Nintendo cartridges. Like, that's well, a yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly. If Nintendo says all of your Nintendo cartridges are wrong, you need to pay again. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I still got my car. I don't got my cartridges. I've, I don't, I've never. I do. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, but you still got, it doesn't, that... it doesn't matter to you. You still have the, the files, even though objectively speaking, I don't know if that would be legal of Nintendo to do, but imagine the judges would say, no, no, that is legal. Ca capitalism for the win. And uh, Nintendo would say, not. all the, all your cartridges <laughs> belong to me. That's their exact legal They probably language. wouldn't. Yeah. They probably wouldn't, wouldn't do that. But, but if they did, it doesn't matter. You still have you. You got yours. You know what I mean. Well, and that's yeah. That's the thing is that I I I believe that all games should be similar to how they were when I was a kid, which is you buy them, and you can just always play them so long as you own them. Still, as long as you physically have them, then you should be able to play them. But not every game, even physical games you buy, are like that anymore. There are literal physical discs that are just unusable hunks of shit. Because you put them in a game console and it goes, sorry, the internet doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. And you just go like, why? What, what was the point? Why did you even print it on a disc? Like, I, I don't think. And again, a, a lot of these games, I, we don't know how many of these games that we have access to on Steam have like requirements to Steam. How many of them are tied we, we and linked know. to the. Because you can launch. You can we? launch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that this app, this is easier on older games because. Uh, Newer games tend to actually re do require Steam, uh, but uh, you just you know don't launch Steam and launch the executable from your um, from your uh, and that's, game folder. But that's, that's not it. good. Should we what, be no. having a bunch of games that have Steam DRM? Because what if Steam dies? There's what do we a lot do of, about that. Well, yeah, yeah. That I mean, that, that Steam is a DRM. Uh, yeah, so I use as DRM. So the so, point yeah. I'm making is that like you DRM is not good. No, have, no, it isn't. <laughs> Yeah, but it, but I'm saying it's like you don't have uh, you, this is an ownership. This is not ownership of a thing. I when I go downstairs and I pick up my SNS uh, SNES cartridge and put it in my Super Nintendo, like Miyamoto doesn't bust through my door with a gun and just shouts at me in Japanese yeah. to prove I own that game. Yet I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure wants the teleporter Look problem to those Oh God, gamers. Miy Miyamoto everywhere. Man will clone himself, teleport <laughs> everywhere, and everywhere. eat all of you senseless. But like. It, but I'm saying it's like there's no, you know, that, that that's I think that is a a terrible we have put ourselves into a terrible hole like gamer gaming is not great. And so if you again with Helldivers 2 as being the topic here, if you're upset that you have to make a PSN account to play a fucking Helldivers 2 game, you are like you are focusing on the color of shit in a toilet surrounded by a house on fire. Buddy, I don't give a fuck about the shit color in the toilet. Your house is on fire. You can't sustain this. <laughs> like, what if hell? What if like PlayStation goes, man, these gamers are fucking complainy and just pulls the plug. <laughs> like, now all of you lose it because you didn't want to do a PSN account. Maybe we shouldn't be in the situation where that is a problem. Like, maybe we shouldn't be in the the risk of like euthanasia not having access to helldivers 2 because it needs a psn account but maybe more importantly helldivers 2 shouldn't even need it in the first place like why does it need that account well because it's using servers that are owned by sony and they want i mean to have that kind of i was gonna say it provably doesn't need that account because it has already existed for months without it yeah but but i'm saying it's yeah. like but clearly it doesn't need it but it needs it because the publisher has a requirement and so why are we well, why is that normal? Why do we treat that as normal? And balking back at it is fine, but it's not a it's not it's not a thing about Helldivers, right? It's not just like you can't point your finger at Helldivers 2 and go, Dude, this isn't fair. It's like, well, what of course it's fair. This is this is it's just doing a normal thing. This is a thing that every game does. You bought it with the intention of it doing this. You knew it was gonna do this. Like you paid for this service specifically, so if you had. But that's the thing. Game, you said the word. I was. I was gonna. I was gonna follow up precisely. With that. Uh -huh. I said the word service right there. Games yeah. 
are a service, they can be a service, but they're also not. They're art. They're a, they're a product. Uh, they can be considered, sure. you know, the productified art. But w when a game I mean, has a to be a service... A museum like, is a service, I, right? Yeah, but the, the things in it are the product. But they're not always there. Well, yeah, that's not that's right. But if you if, if you don't have people running the museum, you know, looking after the stuff and cataloging and doing all that stuff, the service goes away, but the the mm -hmm. the product remains, right? And obviously, I'm using the word product is it's, it's very gross, but I'm also using the word service, which is also very gross, but the, um, <laughs> <laughs> but not in that way. I'm that in that way it's nice. Yeah, every. <laughs> Everyone who does community service, gross. How dare you? I hope you I'm, I hope you never not, show no, up to life no. again. Uh, that's oh, come on. <laughs> what I'm saying what I'm saying is if you buy a book, like the 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 product is the book itself, right? You wouldn't download the art, a book. You you wouldn't buy a book. <laughs> the art is the uh, is is what goes into writing the book. And uh -huh. and the, the, for games, it's the same thing. The product is the thing you download and you can play, but the art is what the game is. The more of the art or the more of what the game is, is the service. So we're, we're talking about the, you know, what, you know, the live service, the more of that, the more intertwined games become with, with the, with that sort of die of dying, with, with the sort of perishable intangibleness. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And that's that's why the word service is very important. And and games as a service, it, 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 you know, that's why it's important to understand that because we don't need to go that route. We don't need to make games a service. We don't need to have another person on the other side listing the new meta for Overwatch 2 and just saying, oh, this, this week Orisa is overpowered, next week it's Mago mm -hmm. or whatever. We don't need that. We could just choose our. St we play. We pl we. What if we had a game? If we had the game, we would tune the stats ourselves. We we'd run our own servers, and and I run a server where Arisa doesn't even get to play. Fuck you, Arisa. I don't care about you. People who don't <laughs> like Sombra, they would have a server without Sombra, and that's how you, games used to be, and that's how games could be right now. They just wouldn't be monetizable the same way. And that's why the, I mean, the pushback. The, Overwatch needs to be, did that. They added you know? custom workshop lobbies. That's like the whole premise. It's just that, but do it for yeah, everything. That's Except true. for that's, that's competitive actually... or whatever. But like that is yeah. literally what that like that. I'm just Steam using it as an example. Lobby thing. No, I'm, and, so, I'm, I'm, using... and I'm building off of that. Yeah. Like the Steam yeah. Workshop is such a good example of this. It shows that people demanded a feature that allows you to make your own servers because that's fun. It's interesting. It is much and better. It's so much better. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it feels like you can actually have control of a game that you enjoy and do things with that game that you may otherwise not be able to do outside of the context of what the game wants you to do, but without punishment for doing it, right? If you try exactly. to do that in like Apex Legends, it's probably going to kick your ass because you're not supposed to alter the game like that. But if you, you know, but if you have a Counter-Strike 2 server you can just make a funny map that lets you like poop out of your fucking gun and fall on the ground and convulse like you can do whatever you want with it because it's your server you can customize it to your specifications and people and it, can choose not to approach it they can go and like, honestly that's one that. of my biggest that's one of my biggest gripes with the hell divers more than the kick, getting kicked and more of the uh the crashing is the fact mm -hmm. that i can't just make a custom mission let me fucking just yes. fight a custom I mission. I, I want to I want to get into a map where you spawn 20 monsters around me of this type and I just fight forever for an hour. I want I, I want to learn the guns, yeah. I want to learn the monsters. Well, I can't. I need to play wherever yes. their mission is sit thing. I them. I totally agree. I think Helldivers 2 absolutely suffers from not having any kind of tangible, not offline, but not like online a skirmish only mode or mode. something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like it needs it needs a way that you can play the game without the being tied to the actual game itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. and and I agree. I, I think Helldivers Two needs something like that, and I also think that it needs a better system for doing playing games with other people. Um, when you're playing games with your friends, the system to do that is junky. I don't like how the menu system's kind of shit and picking like levels and all of that isn't really it's, well defined yeah. and explained it's just there's a lot of jank to hell divers too that you kind of overlook in in exchange for what is a very fun and engaging game uh but yeah i mean that's the thing is that i i don't 
I, yeah, I don't, I don't think the addition of a PlayStation account changes that. I don't think the lack of it changes it either. I think that is, again, more on the game itself. The game just isn't built to be a specific way. And that's the, the sadness here. Not that, that, not that someone showed up and asked me for a fucking driver's license. Like, that's not, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it's fucking irrelevant. Yeah, it's just, I mean, someone's just asking you for ID. They're just saying like, hey, who the hell are you? I don't know. I'm I think it's still, I made I, a free account. It's fine. I think it's still pretty shit that the that sony is doing that but uh it's uh it's also you know it's far from the only game to do that like i uh i think all paradox games require you to make a paradox account all of them yes they do yes all of them do you don't you don't have to be online to play them but they uh no you don't which is the funniest part you don't it does it doesn't matter it has no consequence but they need you to do it and if yeah. you don't do it, it is a problem. And, and that, uh, funny, that kind of but... annoys me, honestly. But I did it. I don't care. Yeah. I, I've i done it. I've done it for a lot of games. Uh, yeah, a shit ton of games require you to do that. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm looking at my list of installed games, and all actually all of my installed games don't require me to do that, except for Helldivers 2 now. And uh, <laughs> uh, I think City Skylines are the only two that yeah. require me to paradox. sign into an account. <laughs> yeah. but like that's it um but yeah i mean that's a if i go through my thing that's a normal eight yeah like fucking age of empires um what's it called uh that's yeah. ea it's, right it's, it's, age of empires no it's microsoft microsoft owns it oh, it's microsoft oh, there you go. uh yeah microsoft arma wants you to do it i think arc wants you to do it too um yeah it's just it's fine it's normal i don't think it's good um but it is normal. Like it's not. It's not a. <laughs> again, it's not like someone showed up and kicked your fucking dog. It surprise kind of thing. It's just a. It's just a, it's, a, a debt you were you promised you would pay, and now it's time to pay it, and you're upset you have to pay the debt you promised. Sorry, bud. <laughs> it's not used in not necessarily used in uh, consumer friendly ways, but making an account can be used for consumer friendly things. For example, for your for. Uh, control of your data so if, if a, a company doesn't require you to make an account wow. it doesn't mean they're not getting your data because they can still get your data they just need you to uh, the end user license agreement just will just say i waive all of my rights away to my data and so you it, you can um it's actually it can be better for it can be used to be better for the for the customer uh having an account because then you can go into your account and manage what kind of data they have and say, hey, I want to revoke all of my data. Please delete it. And, you know, it can be used like that, but it often isn't. Because as far as I know, there's no way. I already sold it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but the end user license agreement is already already dooming in that part. Even even if you do need a... It also doesn't matter for US people because we don't have GDPR. That's true, actually. (laughs) Yeah, there's... that's. it's silly. Video games are dumb. Gamers are the dumbest of all parts of video games. In fact, I think gamers are probably the entire reason. That's the worst part of gaming. Fun. That is yeah. that's actually true. Yeah, yeah. I think gaming actually would be art if gamers didn't exist. And unfortunately, that just is the the never never ending war that will happen. Games should I think be social- taken as art, but they can't be because gamers exist. Social media is kind of responsible for gamers' existence. No, no, don't give gamers an out. Gamers are the problem. No. Don't give them an excuse. Gamers, gamers didn't exist. Problem. Gamers didn't exist before before social media. Oh yeah, they did. Oh yeah, they did. Gamers have always mm. existed. They just didn't have social media to do it. They talked about it in gaming magazines. They talked about it in fucking oh, the freaking magazine. I forgot it. How could I have yeah, forgotten about the old period. times and their yeah, magazines? Oh, gamers have. Gamers have always existed. They have, as soon as, as soon as the first Atari Pong came out, so I was like, uh, why isn't the line long enough? I can't see it. A gamer was born. It's over. The games are done. Games will never be art as long as that dumb cretinous life form is there. You're over. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's, it's sad, but one day, one day games will know peace. They will be free to be art once and for all. When humanity only dies, when gamer, finally. Yeah, only to, when the gamer ceases to Catastrophic climate be. change. And I'm, I don't think climate change will kill the gamer. I think it will be... Uh, <laughs> gamer will kill climate change. I wish. I, I mean, they, they won't. 
they will they will reinforce it like everything else. I think the death of Steam will be the death of gaming. I think when I think as soon as Gabe dies, I'm just gonna uh, go into a hole and wait until it it's all over. Wait until the apocalypse ends. Gabe already Only doesn't me. have much much say in Valve. Nah, he's still. I think he still has enough power to keep it under Gabe, control. Gabe is the Mister House of New Vegas. He's just sort of actually no way. And, that's and guess uh, what? What happened to Vegas when Mister House wasn't there? He's the. Uh, well, that's probably a better analogy. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, he's the he's the God Emperor. Right, that is better. Actually, that's a better analogy. Although, wait, it, I mean, it does come the, with. Uh, because you know, the God Emperor is dead. Like, the God Emperor the, is dead, the, and it's the yeah. people just use his 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 uh sort of remnants and ghosts. Well, yeah, they use his whatever visage they want. as the his visage. As yeah, the, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, but that's the and thing is, like, you, is, you have is, to do is, that if. But no one knows the God Emperor is dead either. That's the they do. Premise. They do. No, they don't. Oh, they the people that are using him, yeah, but like the average person doesn't. Oh yeah, like if the, I mean that's the people. That's the same with Gabe. Well, I'm saying the I think the average consumer would know if Gabe died. It would be very big news. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I don't know if normal you people don't think know so? that Gabe exists. That's crazy. How are they? <laughs> so not they even God Emperor. Day? Holy crap! They they don't they don't even understand how fragile their community is. That's incredible. <laughs> they live on a. They're walking on a tightrope without any, without ever looking down. They were well, yeah. It's like when you talk rope. about all this stuff about DRM and blah 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 and what the game will totally do one day and all this other stuff. And I'm like, people don't play video games ideolo- ideologically. They just buy the yeah. game where it is and then they play the game and that's the thought process. They're not like justifying it all and future proofing it and planning this all out and like making ideological choices between yeah. like epic and gog and steam it's just all the games are there and on steam because that's just where they all are and that's where your friends are this and they just why. buy the game and that's it that's the whole there's no thought process there i think I, I oh think i can some tell people do. and 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 it's certainly i mean maybe not ideology but like for example remember when we, I, I remember buy... we did a gaming podcast with that with the people from that one fucking weird website andrew and the, yeah. the, our co-host didn't, didn't know steam, steam existed and yeah. I like lost my shit. <laughs> I was mean about it. I, I laughed at them to their faces, but they were, but it was because they're not like, being mean. That's that's correct. That's the correct. I mean, it's mean to laugh at someone, but also well, I don't, yeah, how do you, also I don't know how you emotionally re- can respond to something. It's a physiological a, response. Uh, yeah, point. I don't know how you can. Run, <laughs> I don't know how you can run a gaming podcast and not know what Steam is. That's that's yeah. Is that, yeah. It was a decade ago, but it was still insane. <laughs> like at that point to like yeah. Ah, people should listen to my opinions about this thing. I don't even know what one of the major platforms is. I don't know that it exists. I'm like, okay. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. He also like he was also so smug about it. He sounded so smug <laughs> yeah. when he said it, so it made it even yeah, worse. It was is. it was such a classic like, huh? like incurious gamer moment. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you fool. It's but, I, I love the idea. Doesn't mean, too, doesn't mean people don't know, know who Gabe is though. It's like a whole no, specific think, weird like subcultures shit to get involved, invested no. in when most people just want to play their video games. They don't want to like join a fan club. It's not yeah. a fan club. It's important it's to a know religion. who is No, it's important to know who is leading the marketplace in which you purchase from. You should know he's, the people that is not lead leading your anymore. He just sort of designed he is it a leading. little. He's he just owns 25% and is just chilling. I don't even know how much Gabe can lead. Like, doesn't Valve yeah, exactly. have a weird, like, communist, non-vertical structure thing going on? No, that's for development, yeah. for like the actual Some, development like, of games at, that at the company, but not the not the actual administrative. The administrative isn't like a free for all. Like, <laughs> it's not free for all. It's 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 an anarcho syndicalism. No, it, it, Game development at Valve is literally a free for all. You just show up and someone's like, "I'm going to make a game about butts," and it's like, "Well, not enough people want to make the butt game, I guess." Uh, it's it's what do you mean? Like, not enough people it. want to make a butt game. They will make a, they will make a rant, a rant about the butt and the. It is sincerely it. a miracle that Half Life Alex happened because I was genuinely convinced that Valve would never make a video game again because there's like I don't know how. Yeah, you, that's. How That's do you true. get that kind of group of people to ever make a video game ever again when they're just like, 
hanging out, <laughs> just kind of making whatever choices they feel like. And like half of that stuff is like, well, if we run if we run another like Steam event, that'll make us more money faster, and we just get to hang out and make some art assets or whatever. Woo, a sale! Like, <laughs> I feel like just the the fact that I don't know I don't know how it works, but like the fact that supposedly it's like kind of unstructured and people get to just do what they want and uh, yeah. but like right there is steam the whole time it feels like it'd be a lot often a lot easier just to like do a steam event than go home <laughs> like just go on with your life well i mean yeah it, i think the difficulty is that it, it, in multiple ways right making games is a fucking process and so the like trying to gather a bunch of talented people to make your idea come to life and there isn't a excuse me, there isn't a rigidity structure in how the development works. Like there's not a, there's not a handful of artists that are dedicated to making this game. Like they would be at say like retro studios or Nintendo. Like people who make Zelda games at Nintendo don't talk to the people who make Mario games at Nintendo. They're not communicating with one another because they are focused solely on the projects they're doing. But at Valve, it isn't necessarily like that. People tend to just kind of exist in, in spaces so someone says i need a really good sound person to make the audio then you go and find a sound guy at valve to help you do that and then if you can that get him to do it so difficult to do, it, I can't that, do that yeah, that's why no, that's why no fucking silent. games get made at this company because like yeah. who's gonna make a fucking game like this it's it's a it's madness you're you can't you cannot yeah, I build can, a i can only imagine on... that that half-life alex gotten made because eventually it got far enough that everyone involved had like sunk cost like they needed the project to exist eventually i because like I'm alex, going I, don't, to assume... I don't know how you get stuff off the ground I'm going to assume that Half-Life Alex came into existence by a bit of heavy-handedness from management. I think the idea of the of the Valve Index coming into existence meant that there needed to be some kind of provable value to why this VR thing is good. And so they probably said, "Hey, look, we're going to put yeah. some money into this v if someone makes a Half-Life VR game, we'll put some solid capital into it." And that was enough to get people like, "Okay, hey, look, I'll work overtime if I can get some fucking money from it or something." Like, let's go. Like, there's probably a bonus to working on Half-Life Alex that was preordained by management that wasn't just, like, a passion project. Because that game's too fucking detailed for that shit. You cannot tell me people all got together and passionately made a game where you can crush a can with your fucking hands. Like, no way, dude. That is something that someone <laughs> came down and was like, I will literally give you, bo like, benefit to making this game. And someone was like, then I'm giving it my all. Fuck, hell yeah, let's go. Like, cause it's, it's Half Life Alex is such a good VR game. It's such a good VR game, and that is not. You can't make something like that through the insane fucking hellscape that is Valve development style. Like, there's no way. Like, it just. I, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine it wasn't. Let's also not forget that crafted. they did. They did make CS2, CSGO too. So they, they do make some games. It's just not the you know the game. Isn't, isn't CSGO I mean, like over a decade old? No, no, CSGO 2 came out no. this year. Then deleted yeah. the old one. Like Overwatch 2 did. No, there's a, yeah. there's a CSGO 2? Yes, mm -hmm. Counter-Strike 2. Oh, it's, it's not Go 2? I'm sorry about the names. No. It's, they killed it's, Go. So they made Go, and Go didn't work, so they were like, I guess we'll just make a second Counter-Strike. Oh, it did work. Of course made... it worked. It was super popular. Well, I, uh, I mean, it was so popular, they fucking nuked it from orbit. <laughs> when, did it, when did it come out? Uh, what, CS, Counter-Strike 2? February, I think. Mm. Uh, CSGO... say, like, it's like it's unsearchable because the it's they just renamed the store page, so it still says it's from 2012. It does, it does, but uh, yeah. that's that's they still the same have the same reviews and stuff. Oh, it came out in September yeah. 2023. I always go to Wikipedia, not to the not to Steam because Steam is unsearchable. But yeah, so anyway. yeah, they they just they just bulldozed over it and made Counter Strike Two instead. And Counter Strike mm -hmm. Two is just equally as unimaginative. It's not good. Counter Strike Two is such a it's, yeah, it's just a sad, pathetic yeah. little game trying to capitalize on a market that is kind of already oversaturated and honestly should be put to death. Like, but it's guess, super I mean, successful though. That's the thing. I mean, it, that like, genre has stems from Counter Strike, doesn't it? It does, but Counter Strike lost the thread. Right? They had they just they just sat on Counter Strike because you have to do a fucking incredible feat to get anything made in Valve. So then when, again, it came down to like all the people at Valve who were making games probably were like, man, I wish we had another Counter-Strike game and they made it. 
well, now it's not even worth the time anymore. Now you're making a game late a- ahead, right? Everyone else has done more interesting things with the genre than you're going to bring by making a sequel to Counter-Strike. Because the sequel yeah. to Counter-Strike is just Counter-Strike again, but with some of the things that other people have already done. They just went in and were like, yeah, I like that prestige system. Oh, I like that. Like, no, man, I don't want that fucking garbage. That's the Counter-Strike, or that's the Call of Duty thing. I don't want that here. But they also like, can't, they can't, they can't, they can't, I mean, you, you're, you're talking as if the, a Counter-Strike 2 could ever be anything else. It, it needs to it be can. the same thing, because otherwise you deny it alienates too. people. I know that, you know I know that feels fine. This, it's fine. I, think. I, know, I know it feels this way every time I try any competitive game ever, but fuck if, if tactical shooters don't feel like the most hostile genre ever to new players. <laughs> Like, oh come yeah, on! Overwatch, people, do, Overwatch is very, have, very hostile as well. To have you players. met players even of these games? I don't like mean. The I don't mean the players. I don't mean. I don't but mean that, like I, their personalities. I just mean like, like Overwatch. You can hop in. You can play as a funny support, or you can play as Mister Mr. Call of Duty Man and just shoot and run around. Mm-hmm. And like, you can play on a basic level and interact. And but because I remember, I remember my on my on ramping, and like there was some confusion, yeah. but a lot of it like. Uh, particularly my my early years of over my early months of Overwatch were dominated by me learning and fearing all of the instant death alt callouts. Genji, so it's like, yeah, no, Genji not Genji. not Genji because Genji's too no, complicated. So you would you would never fight a Genji Obi- that would even... actually do anything. No, it was all the explosions oh, really? that wow. kill everyone. Oh, so you, you learn okay. to fear you learn to fear nerf this and fire in the hole and. Uh, other ones that I'm forgetting. Well, like there's a bunch of like just blow the pl- oh high noon, and uh, the and the uh, the dragon. There's like a series of callouts that specifically are like this whole room's going to die now, and you need to react immediately. Callouts and like those dominate your interactions early on. So you play your early. So you yeah. go you go play as Call of Duty shoot a man or Moira or whoever the fuck, and you just like kind of hang out and do a team death match with your friends and try to interact with the fight while not necessarily knowing the best ways to like make forward and backwards progress. But you're like just primed just at the moment, you have to, the, every time one of those voice lines happens, like, Oh fuck, line of sight. And you, you just have to react. And you have to go. Uh, but like that's, that, that was doable. And I, I had no experience with the games that, that, that Overwatch was riffing on really. And so it was just, it was pretty doable. I feel completely helpless when I play Valorant. Like, and I, mm. I imagine I and I, I had a bad experience playing called uh, playing uh, uh, Counter Strike like 15 years ago or whatever. But Valorant mm. is even rougher because it takes the worst parts of both games and mixes them into one thing. Because on because one yes you do have all of the uh, Overwatch noise where there's 50 different characters that all have unique abilities and you can't tell what anything does or even what team stuff is on or what how you should re- interact with half the things happening on the screen. There's just glowing abilities everywhere. Like I played Valorant at launch and then I played it like two weeks ago with Jericho and immediately you have that like bloat where it's like there's so many weird abilities and shit that you can't tell what's happening and I, from what I understand if you try to play Apex Legends and you haven't played it since launch it's similar where you're like what the fuck is happening? I thought this was just the shooty game where sometimes a guy has a shield. Uh, but it, so it's all that shit. So like Valorant takes all that hero shooter shit and then stacks it on top of being a tactical shooter, which is its own upsetting genre where it's like you just die instantly, constantly because everyone has like yeah. line of sights and, and loadout plans and specific directions. They're just going to be looking in. And if you just happen to go in certain directions at all, you die instantly, but you'd have no way of knowing what any of those are or how to react to them for like hundreds of hours of playing the game basically yeah line it's of a... sights well i think well i don't know hundreds of hours i think i think like because because valorant and cs go they're they're games where the line of sights matter that's that like that that's really the the bread and butter of those games is is you know what you can see and what and you know, who can see you so it, and it, i don't think it's very like all, the first two the hours games are because be the games where every fight dies instantly yeah, but you learn. You learn when you know, to know, like you you know. Oh, I that's a this, brave I assumption. <laughs> I think I I don't know. I think that's the reason also why people are able to choose the maps. I don't know if you can choose the maps in Valorant, but in CS:GO you definitely can. Or in CS, um, and and why people just play Dust Two because they know the sidelines. They they know what, what they like, and they just play Dust Two. And I'm okay. I like I like other maps as well. I like Italy, and I like I like uh, Dust Two. But um, the the people 
play those maps they know because the sidelines are so important. It, anytime you change that, it's all it's a it's a brand new game. Like your mechanics are going to be the same. Like you're going to be able to be a better shot or a worse shot, but not knowing the sidelines, uh, going a, a good player uh, or a mechanically talented player, uh, going up a a worse mechanic uh, mechanically worse player that knows the sidelines and the other one doesn't, they're just going to lose. And th it's not the same in Overwatch. I think Overwatch is you know it is it, you're you're I think I'm 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 not disagreeing with you whatsoever in regards to. You know, you're learning Overwatch in a, in a, just hanging out and 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 sort of like learning the the matchups and learning the abilities because there's so much to learn for sure. But I do think that Overwatch is harder to learn, uh, from my experience uh, anyway, uh, because you can get by having fun and do and getting some value without actually ever learning the matchups properly, like. Yeah, you but I think you're like, significantly more players. likely to learn a game if you actually keep playing. And if you're not having fun, you're not going to keep playing. And that's the difference here. It's like when I try to play fighting games uh, with people or when I try playing Counter-Strike or Valorant with people, it's like I feel completely helpless for literally hours and have no idea how to improve or change anything. And I'm just being crushed. And also, yes, Andrew flamed in text chat for playing wrong, but yeah. no, in, but no, not in a way where that indicates what I should do differently. <laughs> like yeah. people were immediately well, we mad at me for Overwatch playing. Well. People were immediately, That's yeah, but it's, 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 it's really, <laughs> it's, I, I don't remember people getting mad, mad at me in Overwatch early on. Whereas, like, in this oh, game, I, my profile clearly says level two, and then they're yelling at me. I'm like, what do you expect, man? <laughs> yeah, I'm level well, two. <laughs> it I, says I it right there. That, I wonder how much of a lot of that is due to, uh, like, Smurfs. I wonder if people just inherently believe that every new player is just a Smurf. Yeah. People no, are really I shooting new so. players in general because... It, oh, like, yeah. Which is, oh, which yeah, is a yeah. problem because, like, they... Don't you, going back to the dead game topic, don't you want people to be playing your video game so it's not a dead game, which inherently means you always no. need new players to offset all the I, people you're losing because you're always losing they, people. Yeah, they just want to be good. They don't want you to be playing. They just it's, want to be you say they, you say that, but they I just don't I have this Overwatch. like no take, only throw approach. <laughs> oh, no take. You say that, but I I um I always get, I, I don't always, but I often give tips to uh, to players in my quick play games, not competitive, in Overwatch. And the only time I have ever, well, not single time, but multi a few times, the only times where people react positively to me giving them tips, and just the tips, the way I give them tips is like Genji tip. You can deflect the Moira ball or whatever you know that's a basic tip it's not even a good tip but whatever it's just stuff like that like people like a hog that ha is ulting orisa ult in front of them and the hog turns away and runs instead of shooting the orisa dead in a second that's a thing that's a like a straightforward tip just shoot her you do six six thousand damage not even exaggerating it's actually 5700 but still my point is the only time people react actually nice to me giving them tips is when it's the enemy moira and i play sombra uh, the enemy Moira being, oh, thank you for telling me that I can't spy check you with my weapons. Because I, 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 in quick play, I tell the enemy Moira, who's trying to spy check me, I tell them, hey, you can't spy check me. Go watch the replay and see what I'm doing to you. Um, and that's the only time people say, oh, thank you. Every time it's my teammate, <laughs> they're always, oh, uh, Sombra tip, shut up. Oh, like something, you know, childish like that. The people are so it's freaking impossible, honestly. <laughs> I don't I don't because any kind of feedback that doesn't come from like your friend in voice chat, it reads as being it's, it's like an as attack. It, yeah, it yeah, always it always yeah. sounds as like you're you're making fun of them, or you're complaining yeah. about them. I mean, you are. We are always complaining about you. You're I'm not. I'm I'm but... I'm an angel in quick play. I tilt in co <laughs> in competitive, but I don't in quick play. And it's just, the, just people are just salty. I think it's just the again the people just instinctively take because you can't hear someone talk to you so and you see someone that has played the game longer than you giving it's telling you to do something you would instinctively believe that they're trying to just like they're mad at you or they think that you're doing something wrong and that you shouldn't um and i, I it's just it's difficult to communicate this is why audio this is why voice chat exists in a lot of competitive games like this is so you can mute clearly it. express a thing <laughs> yeah so you can mute it that's, I mean, again, that's the yeah, other thing. Yeah, yeah. 
there's no there's literally no point to play competitive games in the fucking modern world the night like 90 percent of people don't i just want to play with my friends that's why overwatch is immediately dead to me when everyone quits because i'm like i don't want to play with these random people yeah but like that's (laughs) it's not fun it should it's, be. It's a it shame that be I fun can't... outside of the context of your friends. That's that it's should a shame be that what we... a, a game that make... strives for. I can't figure out how to make another account that you know allows me to start from scratch. Because that you know, because that would be a good way to. Sucks uh... to suck. Should have done it what me and Keith did. But you bought a different. Well, how, just... do I... how do you even do it? <laughs> we 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 just bought another copy of Overwatch One, <laughs> but you can't. You, you need to make another account. It's not like you don't have two copies of in the same account. You have two accounts. Yeah, no, I have a yeah, separate. We just made I have account. a second uh, Battle.net account. Yeah, but now they connect it to your phone. I only have one phone. Yep, yep. Yeah, well, I have both accounts tied to one phone. <laughs> yeah. How do you yeah. do that? I don't remember. It's Get been years. Man, nerd. I mean, that whole thing that happened there is that we spent a month grinding new accounts through Quick Play so we could finally register for ranked and finally figure out uh, what our ranked accounts rank would be and whatnot. And then, like, the moment we got our ranks, Andrew got a girlfriend and we immediately stopped using those accounts and they've just not been played since. You heard it here first, just, folks. <laughs> play Overwatch and get a girlfriend. It's not so my we, fault. No, we had, a, don't, we had I don't just long enough for like I think it like <laughs> didn't it like instantly put me in it like put me in plat if I remember correctly when I was stuck in silver yeah, for nice. literally years. So I was like, yeah, I think- see, I'm right. And then immediately it's like, well, we're not going to follow up on this experiment. <laughs> yeah, the the, that, yeah. the the it's very very common knowledge that people get stuck accounts get stuck. Like all the top line streamers have accounts that are stuck in, in like low masters and diamond even and stuff like like the meta for getting to um what, there's a like a new top uh whatever rank tier or whatever they call it champion instead of grandmaster uh the 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 way to act the way that people actually get to grandmaster or to get to a uh, champion instead of grandmaster is they make a new account they uh they try to land the first i think it's like 25 games or something to w- always win and if you always win those games you get such a huge boost that you just get to to up there and that's it because if you're uh, if you have your an old account you you can grind 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 it doesn't matter you can't climb i mean there's still people who can because they're just incredible at the game but yeah I, it, it's the like the, the problem me i, was I have really, a lot of i, was, I have a lot it's of problems brutal, with the it's one of the reasons systems. they changed the previous the previous system it's like, like back then uh you could just see how many points you gained or lost and it's like okay well you can still do that it's just percentage points instead of not, well you, you, you will know, last still. time i played you couldn't see what your rank yeah, that's was true, that's doing true, true. uh i haven't played that's it for true. literally three it, heroes now uh it was so but, bad <laughs> the competitive system was just so terrible like, but like overwatch one literally just gave you an exact number of your sr going up and down and it was so deeply yeah. frustrating because I would just hang out with Andrew and play all night and we would win like 60% of our games. And it's like, yeah, yeah. The way that fucking ranked is supposed to work is like if you're winning 51% of your games, you're climbing eventually. But I could win 60% of my games for months and lose rank because it would yep. just be like, nah, we just decided that your losses uh, mean you lose points more than that your wins gain points. And that's just happening consistently all night, every day. For no discernible reason, and you improve, you continuing to win most of your games. This just doesn't change that. Just whatever's going on here is we've just. It's like the rank. The it's like essentially the. It was essentially this like weight that was just being put on the scale, where the game had just decided, nah, you should be lower ranked than you currently are, which is a comprehensible thing that the system might do, but it's incomprehensible that the game w- would think you need to be lower ranked than you currently are when you're in silver <laughs> the second lowest rank in the game like i'm already in silver what do you mean i need to be lower i need to be br- I need and, to then be they, f- and then what's and insane then is the- that overwatch 2 came out and they i don't remember if it was plat or gold but they thought that every new player should be plat or gold and i'm like what the fuck you guys this is the, you guys made the same system that thinks i need to, i'm too high in silver and you thought everyone who doesn't know think- how to play the game yet should be gold I think you're confused though, because uh, the uh, what happened in Overwatch when Overwatch Two came out is that every new player got played, or the vast majority of new players just got placed in Bronze Five, 
I got placed in bronze one on across all my roles. That's the thing, though. They, they had to change it. What happened is when it first came out, they were, they they were putting they were having the rank assume everyone is gold by default, and then they realized no, we can't do that because Overwatch is way too complicated, and all these people are plummeting instantly, and they had to correct it and make it so that it would it would default to being in bronze five, <laughs> because like. <laughs> Overwatch is so has such a difficult learning curve that there's no way that anyone can just hop in and be competitive at all. But yes, everyone who started Overwatch two at the launch of Overwatch two, like this, like there's whole there's videos about this. Like the the default yeah. assumption was that you had to be that you is that new players would be gold because that's like a low rank. And I'm like, you motherfuckers have been keeping me in silver for years. You're gonna give new players gold for free? And think that they can handle this? I hate you guys so I much. I thought I thought anybody above diamond is already in the top ten percent of accounts, and that's accounts. That's not players. Above yeah, diamond, I, I yeah. Because mo- above uh, diamond, yeah. Because like I think I think gold, silver the, probably the gold is fifty percent gradient is like most players. Nah, I think I think I think it's below. I think there's fewer plats than there's golds, and there's fewer golds than there's silvers. And then it might have yeah, changed now, but in Overwatch One, the plateau where most players were was like plat. Yeah, yeah, could be, could be. It's just that you know. That's why it was so frustrating in in part. Like back then, I was, part of why I was so frustrated trying to get there was like, why can't I get to just where the average player is? Or am I really this bad at Overwatch One? And it's so sucky as well because if you practice, if you like, you're grinding in silver and on gold, and especially if you play characters that synergize with other characters. Like if you play support, or if you play tanks, or if you play a lot of the DPS. Not all of them, but a lot of them. You're just like practicing the game that in a such a slow pace. Not only are you practicing it wrong most of the time, uh, but that's you know that's normal. But you're, it's, it's such a slower game. Like I I've I've played a few plant and diamond uh, games, and it's just so much fast paced that uh, I I don't have pace for that on on uh, Baptiste for example. But the moment I switch to to Moira, I can keep up, and it, that's that's all down to. I can think fast enough. I can't ex- execute fast enough, and Moira doesn't require you to execute fast because it's Moira. But, but it's like that, that's why I see people like I think it's J three and there's other there's other streamers that do like this gold player thinks he should be plat, and I'm like, no, you shouldn't be plat. Oh, I mean, maybe you should because you, maybe you're better. But the moment you get to plat, you're gonna be up against a much faster game that you're not used to. You're not practicing that. You should like, and it's it's sort of a a, a double-edged sword in a way going up because the game those does get, get considerably those, faster. And, those and videos hard. are always a little unfair because you're you're just like blindsiding people with a style of game that they don't have access to. They're not, yeah, they don't have access to. They get, they're not practicing. Like it doesn't it doesn't exactly. mean they don't deserve it necessarily. It's like it's like I don't know, man. Exactly. If they're if yeah, they're yeah. if they're stuck at this rank but they keep winning all the time, then and they or even if they don't keep winning because that's the thing like if you play zarya or reinhardt is probably a better example than Zarya. like the, a few tanks require your supports to synergize with you like if you have a baptiste that keeps up with you and dives with you as a as a as a reinhardt and if you look after that baptiste you're good you're golden you're like you can do a lot of things but how often are you going to find even a baptiste let alone one that is willing to go in uh and one that goes in and doesn't immediately feed you know what i mean because in high elos it, it, that's what you get like you you play azaria and there and there's somebody on a on a on a brigita and you know that you can bubble the brigita and she's gonna feed your bubbles and the and the, the brigita knows to do that as well like it's just a different game altogether and low rank players never see that ever ever, ever. yeah no it's it's very that's startling playing, being, because playing any kind of higher so... match because you get a completely different experience like yeah, yeah i played like svb scrims for like one day joining their server and immediately mm-hmm. i was like oh on Volskaya defense point two, everyone takes the high ground. I've never seen this before. I don't know what to do <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like it's surreal. <laughs> Which like Volskaya is a dead map now, or maybe maybe yeah, they brought it back with the plans yeah. they have now. But, it's in arcade only. No, but like the uh, for literally years, every time I played Volskaya, the defense team would just fight on the inside of the choke. But they still do that in in, in like for example. Uh, yeah, but, but the moment I join a scrim, everyone takes the high ground in the perimeter around point two, and they're all yeah, flanking they and stuff. And I'm, like, and I'm like, what the fuck because is they happening? Have a brain. It's this like is a it, earlier today. I was, earlier today, I was playing Anna uh, in uh, Defense Blizzard. Like we were starting. It's like, a, it's like a when game. you find out that a high level players play the high ground in El Dorado, and you're like, 
What? <laughs> exactly. It's exactly that. I played like, I, so specifically I played El Dorado I uh, in, after the gate because everyone plays high ground on the point one or after but, the gate. But in, after in, no, but no, like no, not everybody point... play in gold. A lot of people play low ground in, in first point. A yeah, lot, but but the, but uh, there's a significant number of players to take the high ground in point one. There's also like true, a, you, you can also see the instinct to take the high ground in point one combined with the inability or not lack of knowledge of what to do with high ground including me where i'm like sometimes i'm just like i don't know man i'm it's kind of practice sometimes i'm yeah. like i'm on the high ground in point one but but as as like the tank or something like that i'm like i have no idea actually how to interact with this like what am i supposed to just yeah, yeah. hang out and mm -hmm. hope you guys got this or or am i am i fucking up if i hop down and you guys stay up here or a lot of it is is just hanging out there's a lot of patience but once you're in the streets fight. high level players stay on the high ground so much that i'm like i've never seen this version of the video game and that's yeah. that's that's yeah. a whole new thing about like map design and so on to think about where i'm like these people play a different game on the same map like it's not the same map to them it's wild to realize i was playing on a, a competitive silver three no sorry not silver gold three um in uh, blizzard defense first point and i set up in on high ground on the right side you can go up the stairs and there's like there's these crates on the right hand side next to the point and i have line of sight over the whole fight it's just i just need people not to you know just to hold ground basically the hounds I, my hounds went up to me and clicked no 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 at me a bunch of times as if i was doing something wrong i stood where i stood the hounds were fed immediately immediately and this is in gold three and it's like people still are upset that a freaking Anna is taking high ground behind. So, yeah, that's how unreal it is that people are just wrong all the time. Game based games are hard. Just always. That's wrong. why I want to play with my friends because you can talk to them. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and learn like, of each other. Like, it, you don't know if anyone has the right idea of how to play the game, but you, but even if you're wrong, you actually you do, together, like, you communicate. But you play together, and, yeah. Yeah, you, you communicate and you yeah. have plans and say things to each other. Whereas, like, uh, I just don't have the personality type to handle online voice chat. Like, I can't deal with it. I, I can't talk to random people just in general. Like, it, it deeply stresses me out. But also, anytime that I have interacted, I've been immediately proven correct. Because people are just so yeah. fucking awful to their own teammates. They, they'd rather yell at their own teammates for an entire match than work with them. And it's like, it's torture. <laughs> like, so wow. it's like, yeah, it's like of, course, like, it's like, of course they're more fun with friends. <laughs> That's why I get level five recommendations is because I'm not, I'm not a jerk when I come and I come. People are like, oh okay. my god, what is it? Like, oftentimes I'll just be the only person talking, but the, everybody else is in voice chat. They don't say anything. I'll just be like, I'm taking high ground, right side, uh, Mora on our back, Mora no fade, stuff like that. And they don't say anything. At the end of the game, it's like, people are like, oh, thanks for the call outs. And, and then, yeah, then level five. It's just, it's not. Yeah, I mean, that's happen. the. Most people just aren't uh, like aggressive in that way. Most people just let you. You know, like if you're going to shout commands or whatever, people will kind of like. I'm, I don't even shout commands. It. Just say what I'm doing. Because I'm well, you know, yeah, but if you, but doing or, that is something people mostly don't do, so they'll just take it at the face value or whatever. Just be like, okay, well, I guess I got saying something, so I'll pay attention sometimes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as long as you're not being aggressive about it, like you're not telling people like they're idiots or anything like that, most people won't really do anything. Like they'll just, mm -hmm. you know, they'll just take the, they'll just be like, yeah, thanks for saying something. Mandy's like that too. She has like a, I think she has like the max level endorsement just all yeah. the time. And That's good. And I see I a lot of people with max level endorsement endorsement on it. Honestly, I've but never I I've never reached endorsement level above like two. They changed it. They oh changed my god! The <laughs> yeah, How they changed I? it recently. It it was not I was always level three uh, learning the the game. Level three, level four, but now it's I think it's impossible not to be at least level four because it's just yeah. Unless I mean, you're unless you're throwing the games or something. When you're playing Overwatch, if someone's doing bad, they have to know that. You can't just like let them be bad. You need to make sure that they are hyper aware of how shitty they are at this game. And that there is and, an entire area you know, they, they can are go to. People. Yeah, they can go into the workshop <laughs> and learn how to actually aim. There's a training area they can go to to learn how to play the game. Go spend time in it alone. Ideally, away from people, you disgusting little troglodyte. No. Hide away and practice more. Don't come back. Pra don't come near it's, me. It's not even Overwatch, that difficult. Like, Overwatch honest, does not honest. have training mechanics that actually functionally teach you the game. 
Oh, not that, but uh, I think like, I know absolutely not. About. You can you can only learn the game about. by playing the video game. There's no other way to learn Overwatch besides playing real I think matches. I'm about players. the mechanics. I think it's I'm, yeah. I'm talking about core fundamentals. I'm not talking about how to like move a payload. Like shooting I'm shit about that. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. you need to be able to shoot. You need to be able to know what your abilities do. You need to know. Um, like oh, but even then, I think I think stuff. Overwatch overall should, should be much better i think uh, like basic aim there's a lot of people that need a little, like half an hour of practice that's all you need really to, to be competent at shooting just half an hour of vaxta just trying to land a headshots with an ash that's it as you, you get like people who like ne literally never practiced obviously they're gonna get good or get better a lot faster but um but what keith is saying is true though and uh, overwatch needs some serious handholding for new players to allow them to to have a basic idea. You can shoot the junk rat tire. Please shoot the junk rat tire. It only has no. one hundred health. It's like me, me as me as Reinhardt, junk rat tire. What do I do? Do I shield up and try to defend, or do I fire strike the junk rat tire? That's that's the obvious answer. Obvious answer. as Anna. What do I do? Do I hide or do I shoot the grenade the junk rat tire? Same thing. I know all the breakpoints, but that's obviously, you know, because I look into it and people don't. The game doesn't even tell you how much damage you do. It doesn't have numbers in the game. It's absurd. Did you know? Did you know that? That you can't check how much damage your weapons do in the game? If you press what? F1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, so if you want to learn what the character does, you can go into training range or any game, really. And you press F1 in your keyboard and it shows you the abilities. And the abilities have a little description, but it doesn't actually tell you the numbers, the times, anything. It doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, and that sort no. of stuff is uh, so uh, crucial. Yeah. It's come up. It's a so few, crucial. It's cause... come up before where, like, I I've talked about how like this game has constant updates that really significantly change the balance or how characters work and so on, and none of that information is surfaced to players that just log in to play the game. Like you have to yeah. like be in the YouTube ecosystem to understand that changes even happened to Overwatch, which is a very strange experience. But also, yeah, like the there's a refusal to give you any kind of detailed information or DPS or any information about how weapons work on a granular level. So if you hit F1 to look at what people's stats, it just gives you vague descriptions. And yeah, like this 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 is the kind of stuff that led to me playing the game for like a year before I found out that like Symmetra's main fire charges up into a series of different phases by holding down the beam on somebody. And like, that's yep. how you do more damage. And that's how she actually works fundamentally. And if you don't know that, then you, then you don't know how to You're do damage with her besides her turrets essentially. And her yep. big ball. And like that not being, and it's cause like that, that mechanic is too complicated to explain in 20 words or whatever. In the little tooltip so they just don't and so you just don't know how a character works and that's like how a ton of, ton of stuff works and yeah like they'll just yeah yeah change the entire damage balance of an ability or fundamentally change how it kind of works and usually that's not it's impossible to find that information in the game and that's wild. why i give tips to in quick play because i see kiriko's not using their kunais even though they don't like in kiriko can alternate between the attack and the damage without or sorry the attack and the healing without doing less healing and it's the same as Baptiste, you do the same. Uh, and so you don't have to sacrifice your healing to do damage. Or, or for example, the new Ilyari, for example, she uh, you need to charge the rifle, otherwise you don't do as much damage. I see Ilyari just spamming damage and doing nothing. Uh, or uh, or Diva's trying to shoot from afar instead of closing the distance and shooting up close. Stuff like that. Right? Um, it could, the game, uh, it's so frustrating that they have the whole hero mastery thing. It's even called hero mastery. And it's just basically time trials using the game, using the, the heroes instead of actually telling you basic fundamentals of, of uh, like Brigitte combos or, or, or Genji, Genji combos in particular, or, or, uh, or how to manage your bubbles as Aria, stuff like that. Because Blizzard knows this stuff. It's not like the, the top level players are the only people playing and they don't tell anybody. Blizzard knows exactly how the game is played and how to play the game. Even if the in individual developers don't play it like that. They know the base, the, the, the fundamentals. They just don't want people to care about that. Which is... I think it's... They'll just correct here. Wrong, Brigitte's but, uh, shield has 600 health and it can stun, and now it has 200 health and it can stun, and now it has 200 health and it can't stun, and now it has 200 health, 
but it can turn widescreen to an <laughs> alt and it can stun. And like it'll just keep changing her over and over again and it's like a secret. And the widescreen is 450. I think. Just find out like via RNG and surprises that the game changed because like the game won't tell you in any way. It's like you'll just yeah. kind of go in and lose fights because you think an ability does something it doesn't half the time. It yeah, makes me yeah. afraid of playing the game again now because not only are there three new heroes and some new maps and literally an entire new mode, but also like I don't even know how many changes have happened to every hero that I won't even understand I'm th to ask about or think about. Who yeah, knows? you need to get back into the game to. On top of everyone's know, health be being different now and all the breakpoints are different. You just go into the wiki and read all the abilities from start, from scratch. There's only 40 euros or however many. It's fine. You can you have an afternoon. <laughs> no, I think I think it's just basically what it means is that if you if you get back into the game, you're just going to be ranked lower and you're going to need to learn again a few things. Right? No. Nah. I I don't know. I don't play Overwatch. <laughs> it's a game for babies. We did it. We got another podcast to devolve into Overwatch talk even though I haven't played it for like 6 months. <laughs> I just I, I podcast. I, I I've lost the I've lost the will. I've lost the heart and the passion required to genuinely and uh, intricately hate myself and a game while playing it at the same time. And I just don't want to do it anymore. So I can't play Overwatch. I just think Sorry, it's neat. Overwatch. I just care. I just care a lot about the ability to play Overwatch, <laughs> and I can't do that. And not just yell all the time, and it's just unpleasant, and I don't want to be that way. I just you need to play care. somber, man. It's somber, is so I, good I do. I can just I do your thing. Genuinely, just I just care about like my ability to play the game. I care about uh, what is it? I I care about my skill. I care about my contributions to the team. I get pissed off when I don't do a very good job. Of, like I fuck up and I throw or anything like that. Like I just care. I care a lot about uh playing and doing a good job while i play so i don't know when i see that i when i when it's my fault and i know i'm not stupid i know overwatch i know it's my fucking fault like i get equally as mad as when it's someone else's fault and it's just a and if it's not my fault it's someone else's so it's always just a constant state of anger it's like ah oh, it's never good enough yeah just, that's i understand that i hate it i hate uh, it i hate it so much i just want to play zoo tycoon and enjoy my life i don't want to fucking I don't need this. It is practicable, though. I think. I think I, what you're saying. I've been playing the game for like fucking like five years. No, no <laughs> I'm no, not no, no, getting no. any better. I've plateaued. No, 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 no. no. Pla the the not tilting at your own shortcomings and the the shortcomings of your teammate. I think that's practicable. That's definitely what I've been focusing on for uh, for the last few months, and um, and I've gotten a lot better. As long as you're like you're focused on. On remembering that you're like the objective is not to tilt, and that, you know that's difficult, and you know it's but difficult. What if I when want you... to tilt? Well, you know, you don't want to tilt though because it makes you miserable. I mean, I don't think that's going to solve it, unfortunately. The uh, no, it's just it. I just don't enjoy a lot of. I just don't enjoy competitive based games. Overwatch was the unique exception for a multitude of factors. But generally, I believe since the fall of Modern Warfare 2, I just have not given two shits about competitive-based shooting games. <laughs> it, just... it scans that Andrew played Call of Duty. Oh, I played Call of Duty, Halo. I, yeah, I grew up on all that shit. But the important part was that I didn't... I was never the person... I mean, Halo 2 I was. But, uh, but in like Halo 3 and Modern Warfare... It was very much less about communicating with people and very much more about honing a skill as best as I could while playing with friends. Off. Halo 2 and was just yeah, different. It, just it was like a social video game that you happened yes, it was. to but sometimes also, fight in. But also I tended to be a lot more cringe child in it because I was a cringe child. So it was very much like, oh, I'm going to kick your ass in Halo. You suck. Like that stuff doesn't. It, like in Halo 3, it didn't matter anymore. It's like, look, man, I don't need to talk shit to you. I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. I'm just going to prove that I'm I am better at you than a game by just doing it. I don't need to, I don't know, beat my chest. Halo 2 is just one of those and things so that the, makes me feel like I really missed out on like the generation of like T 
TF2 lobbies that I didn't know was were even mm. happening at the time. Because, like, that's, like, the follow-up on, like, the equivalent of, like, Halo 2, like, social hangout lobbies. Like, so much of Halo 2 was this weird mix of, like, private games where you would, like, hang out and try to break out of the map or do other nonsense. And, and you you were, like, interacting with the same people all the time over and over again. Uh, it was just so different from, like, how <clears throat> modern shooters are so crunched down to just being, like, you need to go into quick play or you need to go into ranked. And that's the, that's the, that's the ways you interact with the video game. Those are your options. And there's, like, not really more you can do most of the time they're not exactly. very they're not very social did they even yeah. ever end up adding a uh, workshop back in overwatch 2 yeah, yeah it has workshop yeah it they just did. doesn't have the, the yeah. same api it's a little bit different it's got mm -hmm. you know I, they they recently added a, a new map in hanamura um that broke all the uh hanamura workshop things for example so it's not like a perfect <laughs> thing yeah man if only there was some kind of like version of overwatch that didn't have any problems you need a fucking break well but that's not monetizable you need problems who likes life without problems that's the biggest bummer about overwatch it's just Me. the fact that it's live service which means that like whenever you th whenever you if you if you have positive memories of overwatch there's always the question of like what and when do you mean like what game do you, are you thinking of and does it exist anymore in any 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 meaningful way or is it are things yeah. changed so much that you literally can't recognize that thing anymore yeah i think overwatch is a lot of fun if you can you know if you can not be upset at playing it it's fun but uh yeah, it's difficult. I agree. If you like, I I I would say there's like yeah. a twenty percent chance for every game to make me in a put me in a bad mood, basically. Even though I'm practicing not tilting, and it's not even about tilting anymore. It's just like, what do you do when people just throw in your team? What do you do when, um, you, you know, when when uh, when you you're like you just can't figure out what you're doing, and you're clearly the worst person or in the team. Or when you go up against a Smurf, things like, people in consoles when you go up against Zimmers and things like that, you know what I mean? That it's not about it's not about you as a player. It's not about you, about you as a person. It's just like it, it sucks, you know. It, it's not about it's not about the uh, the getting better. It's just you know, it's not a good time. You're trying to play a game. You're trying to have fun. Yep. Hey. Nope. I mean, that's the thing is competitive games are a balancing act. You need to both manage your expectations on your skill level and your ability to perform, but also you need to remember that it's a video game and video games are just dumb and aren't and that important yeah. and just have yeah. fun with it. Yeah. So, exactly. yeah, it, like it doesn't matter how many times you fucking lose a match in Overwatch because no one gives a shit at the end of the day. Like even when you die, I don't think whatever God you pray to will give a shit that you're bad at Overwatch. It, it doesn't mean anything so you can just lose hundreds and hundreds of games and you'll be fine because you'll just become better from it uh but well maybe maybe you'll become better from it because overwatch doesn't you will how about teaching you no you just I, I think you genuinely <laughs> will learn. become better from it i think you will it's so easy not to learn better yeah but either way it doesn't matter it's just it's, it's just a game. little yeah. game Silly little That's game true. that I refuse to play ever again. <laughs> That's fair. That's it's fair. Just, <laughs> well, this I has been this year, this week's Scream Fest. See you guys next time where we yell about something else. We didn't probably scream. Be, we did didn't a lot. Scream? Oh, dang it. I screamed all the time. <laughs> all I do is scream. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.